Good afternoon, everyone. Happy October. It's time to, we're doing a new charity thing this, this week, and it's for, for Spectacular Streamathon 2024. Basically, it's going to be a month long charity event where I'm raising money for gamers outreach, and they help provide video games to hospitalized children to help make their stay a little more comfortable. We've got a variety of goals going on this month. Like, you can see here, we also got incentives as well. You know, you probably know how these things go, but you have to donate at least this much money to get one of these little things on the screen. Like putting your own PNG tuber on the screen, having me eat some bean boozled beans, which I still have left over from the uh, sub of September. Karaoke song, write a Twitter Blue Sky post, maybe do some squats, or even to take off my glasses for a bit and try and play blindfolded. That we also got some major goals as well. Let me bring those up instead. If you get fifty dollars, you can make me change my Twitter Blue Sky banner for a week. Hundred dollars will set up community game night for all you guys. And don't forget, I still have a Discord you can join if you can scroll down below. For one hundred fifty dollars, I'll get some pilk and drink it on camera. And at two hundred dollars, I'll play a game my chat slash Discord's choice. Who knows? Maybe you can get me to play that whole trifecta of Change, the Popper Gamish, and Tribal Hunter. But let's talk a little about what we're playing today. So first off, I should point out that you might still say I'm a little ESRB thing to my left or to my right. Actually, that's not for show. Here in Hunger Terminal is really not a kid's game or even a teen's game. I see it's got violence, score, dismemberment, alcohol, drugs, self-destructiveness from suicide, self-harm, nudity and sexual content, depression, mental health, sexual violence, child abuse, war, and, other, and atrocities that come with it. So yeah, really lovely stuff here. I mean, look at this. You've got a girl with one arm cutting some guy's throat. That's also she's got a bloody eye patch on. So you know, this is for kids. Actually, not at all. All for not an adult. You should probably step out now because it's only going to get grimmer from here. But yeah, Fear and Hunger Terminal is actually a second game in the Fear and Hunger series, but but this game is also mostly standalone because it takes place about 400, 500 years after the first game. So. There are only there aren't too many recurring characters in there, but you know. But there's definitely some stuff you might be able to remember from the game, first game if you play it, but you guys mean by Near Have Ryan for which a Finnish dev for the a series called Happy Pictures, I think it's called, but yeah, he's currently working on a version 2.0 at some point, but I didn't hear about when it would be released. So we're just gonna go in now. This sounds interesting, you know, some new areas, more enemies, and even a fishing system, of course, to turn us into a real JRPG. But yeah, we should probably get started with the game. I actually ran a poll in the Discord to determine... So in this, you sh this game and in the first game, you could you have different characters you can choose from. I actually didn't pull in my Discord to determine what character you're going to play as, but let's go through them all. Here we got Levi, an, a young ex-soldier having fought in wars since he was a child. He's good at ranged combat and good with most firearms. Because in this game, firearms aren't just a weapon you can equip. They're actually you can be used outside of battles to shoot enemies under wandering around. You can even cripple or kill them. Next, you have Marina, the occultist. She focuses on creative use of otherworldly powers. She's not as strong or har harmful in defensive skills, but still pretty impressive when used properly. Then the ability to like carve god sigils on herself to improve her stats. You have Dan, the doctor. He's mainly focused on curing different status effects and analyzing the possible weaknesses and any anatomy. He also is pro probably would be the most fitting for us since we're furries, but. That's a bit of spoilers, and we're not going to go into that right now. We have Abella, the mechanic. She has depth to craft her own makeshift weapons and traps. She also stands in more complicated machinery along with the mechanical skills. She's also probably one more of the physically fit of the female party members can actually use two-handed weapons. We have Osa, the Yellow Mage. Contrary to other people's beliefs, Yellow Mages don't dedicate their lives to worship. Yellow Mages use unworldly powers only to their own benefit to further their own agenda. In this world, they're basically like... Magic is more of a thing from gods, so these guys don't really worship the gods, they just use the gods for their own ends. But uh, yeah, it's a bit, bit of lore stuff to explain exactly what he is. We have Olivia the Botanist. The botanist's knowledge covers a wide variety of plants and herbs. She can create mixtures with strong healing properties, or alternately she can use knowledge to create potent poisons. And also, as you can see, yes, she's in a wheelchair. Disability representation in this game. And the wheelchair does come to play, like you have to unequip it at certain parts in order to be able to go upstairs. You have Marco, the, the thug slash boxer, who, yes, does look a lot like Josuke. Life in underground boxing is taught the boxer how to deal with opponents barehanded. He sells at close quarters combat. And finally, we have the journalist. 
Having caught a world coup d'etat and other disasters, Karen expected various skills to help her survive. Her situation still is definitely not being lasted in the West. So on the Discord, I ran a poll, and it was a four-way time between Marco, Olivia, Abella, and Levi. And I did a little bit of wheel spin, and the winner was Levi. Yep. From what I've been told, he's actually one of the tougher characters in here, but we're going to go with But still, the audience shows, so we're going to go with him. And also, there are three difficulties. Easy or mode, which is basic mode, easier. Fear and hunger mode, which is easy, the basic mode. And masochism mode. I think it's supposed to be like masochism, but most people just call it masso mode, which, as well as being just harder in general, has a lot of special things going on. Like, for example, if you stay out long, long enough, you die. You'll just, like, go wandering around outside too much to die, but that's among other things. Well, actually, you don't die. You get, you go get something a little worse than death, you know. Because this is a horror game, so it's gotta be things that make death actually seem like a seem like a sweet release. But yeah, we're just gonna go with the basic difficulty since it's gonna be technically my first time playing it. I mean, I say technically, it is my first time. But let's get started. Yeah, for those wondering about the setting, this is basically Earth, but an alternate version of Earth where it's mostly the same. And no, we're not skipping the character history. That was another thing I wanted to do. The soothing sound of the rail tracks. You're not used to such peaceful, tranquil atmosphere. You can't help but let your mind water. Your reminisce was led you to this point in life. Let me just quickly bring up my Discord so I can get some results from the polls I did recently. Because I also did a poll for the character creation. Let's see. Evil. It's hometown even has a tainted past painted all around its narrow alleyways. The painful memories start from that one night. Your parents are arguing downstairs. The other one would heat up, like always, and it would turn into a fight. Your mother charged inside the room in desperation. She locked the door and pushed it with all her might. First, the odor of old vodka carried over to your room. Then you heard your father's heavy steps walk up the stairs. Your father started bashing down the door. So now we have two options, pray for God or try and stand up to our father. Standing up to our father gives us extra body points, which is health and we all get a max of 100 at base. And, and death is permanent in this game and dying is the main character is the game over. Also, hey there Ube, welcome on in. We just basically started the stream. We're currently going through basically the character creation right now. As we're praying for God, this is what we chose. And of course now we get to choose which God. We have Rogroth, the God of Destruction, Sylvan, the Goddess, the goddess of Love and Fertility. And, and it's not like the whole, more wholesome goddesses of love, it's the way more carnal kind. Almer, who's an ascended human, who's basically Jesus in this world. We have the Moon God, also known as Rare. And if you saw from the title screen, he, Moon God definitely has more stuff in this game. Venusha, who's the god of nature, and also the child of Grogroth and Sylvian. And finally, the god of fear and hunger herself. With, not to get too much into the first game's lore, but... She definitely was a, played a big role in that game because that's that game's story is basically how she came around. But what we got was rare. The gods didn't answer your prayers this time, but he made a pact with the said god for life. But yeah, this basically means that we get an extra bit of affinity with them, which which means we're gonna be able to learn some of their skills and spells later on. I'll get more into that sort of detail in a bit. With your mother gone, your father drinking in the gutter, you're taking the Preville orphanage. Place to you children awfully, and all kinds of rumors circle on why kids would disappear occasionally without a trace. You couldn't wait to get out of there as soon as possible. Unfortunately, your wishes were answered sooner than you could have guessed. When the Second Great War started, the Eastern Union recruited every able bodied person no matter the age to fight for the motherland. You were only 13 at the time, but still they dragged you with them. What kind of weaponry did you specialize in? So, this basically gives us a choice of what are the three types of guns we want to start with and get some ammo for. My chat shows pistols. So we start out with a Luger pistol and 10 9mm bullets. You excelled in the battlefield despite your age. However, you grew bitter as you saw younger and younger kids being recruited and killed as the war dragged on. By this time, you're already responsible for your own squad of child soldiers. You were given a mission meant for expendables, one that would be a guaranteed suicide mission. You're already growing tired of the haphazard way of distributing troops in a general morale the Eastern Union Army was starting to show its cracks. So this is the big question, because if we choose to abandon it, we don't gain or lose anything, but my chat shows to take the mission to fill their, our duty. You survived the mission despite impossible odds. This increased your proficiency in your branch of weaponry. You learned Gunslinger. 
This basically means their pistol shots are more easily able to cause crippling wounds to enemies. As in this game, there actually is a lot of subsystem damage with enemies. They have like different body parts you can shoot, like shoot an arm off and they can't use any weapon they're carrying. Unfortunately, the mission had its toll on you as well. Your psyche couldn't handle all the loss in the battlefield, so you had to take opioids to ease the pain. You formed an addiction. You got heroin and withdrawal symptoms. Yep. Yep, turns out poor Levi's pretty messed up from all his time in the war. Now, we could have skipped it if we had, if we chose the other one, but if we take this option or recruit him in the game, he has a heroin addiction. Basically means that he can get, get a status effect, which will drop his stats, and then it can get worse and drop him even further. Or we can briefly remove the addiction by using heroin, which also get, gives a bit of a buff for a bit. Now, but yeah. Or Levi's probably has worse out than most of the characters. Well, except one other character, except for Dan, I'll say. But I'm not going to get into that because that has sort of goes into the ending. You can't stand up for this any longer and became a deserter. The Eastern Union wouldn't forgive such crimes, so you had to pick up wisely for your escape. But yeah, this one was gives some extra starting items and chat shows ammo, which means you get four extra bullets. How long has it been? Feels like a lifetime since you left the town. Not a place anyone would want to return you. When you've got no other place in the world, you're left with no options. And yeah, we'll just save it for now. And we watched intro since it's our first time playing the game. And poor Levi's had it rough. The other character who grows up in the town, Mariana, has a much nicer time with it. Even if, oh. yeah, she also winds up in some tough stuff. But I feel like something was watching while he slept. Uh, guys, anything going on? Really hearing man. Excuse me. No answer. What about this businessman? Sorry, salary man. Uh, this is Tanaka, I think his name is. I forget exactly, but. And yes, you can search loot for stuff. But yeah, he's one of the characters we can't play as in the game. I'm trying to remember what the controls were. I know there was a run button. Okay, shift is root is for shooting and running. Just making sure I was remembering everything quickly. Yes, this is an RPG Maker game, but definitely one of the more advanced ones. And there is a crafting system in the game, but it's very simple. If you have it in your inventory, you can make it. 2.0 was going to make it. It's going to make it so you can't actually craft it. Rest food at a unless you're at a stove, unless you have a specific skill. But it's actually unique to one of the uh, non-playable characters in the game. And here's our, here's our gear. We got a knife, our pistol, which we can get and shoot if we have it equipped. Army jumpsuit. Also, I think I remember hearing that apparently uh, the stat, the defense stats don't affect him. It's more just the uh, percentages there for our different resistances. So we take less damage from slashing, piercing, and fire a lot less from fire damage. This looks, this looks our status. Like talk with our party, talk to enemies in battle, which is a thing that can happen. We can do try and run from battle, or this, which lets us do our special ability, which lets us occasionally dismember opponents with good shots. Also worth noting that yes, we are already suffering from our addiction right now. You can see because we have a little needle exclamation point over it. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. Use our one bit now. We want to save that for important bits. This basically lets us do. Because the first game in, the second game basically have a mechanic where occasionally you're asked to flip a coin and and if it comes up your side, then something generally better happens. This lets us double our chances by flipping a second coin if we hold shift when, shoot, shift when choosing. We also got some money and some bullets. In the case of this, Civis Passem Parabellum. I don't know enough Latin to know what that means, but you should keep looking around. All suitcases left without supervision. The train's still going, so probably not the best idea to go outside. More briefcases. Ooh, bottle of beer. This can actually be used for store mines, because that's a... Oh, they have different categories for each thing, so... Didn't notice that. Yeah, healing is basically for healing our mind, which... Which is sort of a mix-up between Sandy and MP. Alright, keep forgetting can't run yet. Yeah, pretty empty train here. Some shillings. Can't check in these suitcases. And oh wow, they got a lot of suitcases here. All these suitcases. Something feels off. Oh. And that's even more off. Big passage with the blue butterfly. 
I should mention as a mild spoiler that Olivia kind of feels like the intended main character because of some stuff that happens in the A ending. Now, I'm not going to go too into it right now. This place, it's not the train anymore. You! I've been looking for you everywhere. Just where do you think ran off to? Don't you understand her run? I don't understand. Yes, your bullshit from the socks and expression intensifies. No one expects you to. You're a stupid fucking human after all. Now, get your ass back to the workbench. Okay. Also, I should mention, remember how I said there was nude in the game? Okay. It's your last chance. Next time, it's punishing time. What? You're supposed to sell my new cubes, of course. As for how? Figure it out yourself. Not you all that much. You're beyond hopeless and useless in every sense of the word. Yeah, there is actually a censorship mod you can get for I've seen, but it does censor a little too much at times, so I decide not to. And also, that is something I kind of asked Chad if I wanted this. My Discord if I wanted to do. I basically told him, hey, if you guys want to me to get the new new D mod, the censorship mod, put up an eggplant's po emoji in the announcement. And no one did so. We're getting it all bit. So this guy's running around bare. What you Googling at? There's nothing to see here. Eyes on the cubes. Work! Or I'll rip those eyes out of your pretty face. Okay. Uh, we'll try and make these things. We'll see. I hate their Dark Raccoon. Yeah, this is a pretty dark game if you haven't seen the Fear and Hunger games before. Believe it or not, this one is actually like has less nudity and stuff in the original, but there's still some like you don't think it's trying to get your attention. Hmm? What's up? Oh, wanna get out of here? Okay, we can we can try going. Where do you think you're going? Uh oh. Okay, now we can run. Yeah, basically outside of battle we can. But now we're able to run, but. Okay, let's try and use this pistol for now. Cold pistol grip feels familiar in your hands. Didn't think you'd be grasping one so soon after leaving the front lines. You wonder if you'll ever be able to leave that past behind. Oh! There we go, got a hit on the janitor. Ooh, nice shot. We actually shot off the arm with the, uh. I'm not sure what exactly it's called, but it's like a weird. It's basically like a harvesting tool for cutting off tree branches. And yes. Like I said, this game is adults only. I mean. You see the ESRB logo there, right? But yeah, quickly explain combat. You have our attacks or skills. We can rev up, which basically see those little eyes next to our name. Also, I noticed we actually pronounced add a Z to our name by accident. I don't know how that happened, but maybe if, it's because I pressed Z to confirm. But basically, every turn we get an extra eye filled up, we can rev up to increase our damage attacks. And if you do enough, we can actually tw twice in a row. And yeah, Ube, that is indeed a penis. Unfortunately, this is a. Like I said, this is a very mature game. <laughs> Ooh, he's actually weak to bullets, so that's good. Man, luckily his remaining arm isn't very good arm, so he's not swinging very well. But yeah, I didn't I didn't want to use our knife for fighting because it because I don't want to waste bullets, but But hey, we managed to kill him, but now to check his check him, search him, or leave him. Find a Kassara. Yeah, that's the thing I was thinking he was carrying. It's this thing. Originally true for cutting tree branches, it could be used for things equal in size. Like human limbs, of course. And yes. Oh, it is actually about as strong as the Luger, actually, so that's pretty good. And of course, we can beat him up, which doesn't usually do much. No reaction. The janitor seems dead by all measures. Because, yes, as that thing sort of implies, limb damage is a thing in this game. Ooh, you got this thing. Probably a torture device. I mean, what else? But yeah, killing that guy does get us a pretty decent early game weapon, at least, so that's useful. And right, now let's go find that girl. Again, slight spoilers, but that girl does have more relevance to story we play as her. Your head hurts. You feel like you're losing your mind. I'm not going to spoil too much, but you might recognize the scene if you've played in the uh, first game somewhat, but. Long story short, these are like new gods, which I think are like humans as who sent it to godhood, basically. Uh-oh. <laughs> also, I did want to make a Majora's... It's like... Spoilers, but I did want to make a Majora's Mask joke about this game, because it, it's a lot about the moon in three days, but... 
Uh, hello. Ah, there you are. A mysterious person greets you in a mountainous voice. Okay. Thought you pulled out from that nasty place. You were going deep into that rabbit hole. Now you're safe under the beautiful green hue of the moon. Welcome to the moon tower. Is this a nightmare? Oh, it hardly is a nightmare. You just need to adjust your perspective accordingly and it'll be anything but a nightmare. Since our world words cannot possibly reach my master, I speak on his behalf. And who might my master be? Well, for now, just to say he's the delinquent one, Rare, the trickster moon god. And me, you can call me Percolé. I am just a humble servant of his celestial majesty. In time for a bit of finish lore, Percolé is apparently a name that's supposed to be for like a trickster or devil or something. It's also a bit of a finished swear. There's a uh, one video I remember Ty Tuesday showing at me at one point where this image man is shouting at a bear that's on his property. He's just like, oh, sorry, shouting, saying, Percolate! Blah, 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 blah. You know, just so. Yeah, it was kind of funny. So that's how I know his name mostly. But yeah, probably not exactly the most trustworthy guy. It'd be like meeting a character named Lucifer Old Scratch in an English pick, in something English. You are the dreamer. He is the dream. My master has invited 14 of you to join us in this jubilee of cosmic proportions. 14 candidates, but only one true victor. The Festival of Termina is upon us. When is this Festival of Termina? The festival to give you, humans, eat the grandeur and a chance to reach for illustrious heights. Festival to end all festivals. This must well be very confusing to you. I won't burden you with any more information at this very moment. Just head towards the tower, is all you need to know for now. I will gladly answer questions once you get there. Until that, let us meet again under the moonlight. You wake up suddenly. Is it all just a dream? The bloody cassar in your hand sends a shiver down your spine. Just what is going on? Yeah, I can't actually keep the cassar despite the fact that it was a dream and they actually mentioned about the train. It seems to have stopped. But yeah, now we're officially into the game, so we, we've got to manage things like our hunger and moving around. The reprise cabin's locked from their side. Looking through, it seems pitch black. I should mention that there is someone in there, but they're like one of the uh, characters that we can't play as or recruit. Also looks like the suitcase has all been picked through. Yeah, there's a stamina spar, as you can see. It only really goes down when we're, uh, goes down when we're running, but if we... Have an enemy chasing after us, it goes down faster. Also, I mentioned apparently we have erotophobia, which I think means we take a stat penalty when fighting certain types of enemies. Hi there, buddy. I mean, who's talking to himself. Seems to be completely lost his own thoughts. I'm late already. So late. Anyway, let's go see what's going on outside. So that must be the best course of action for now. You interrupted discussion. Oh, the sleepy one got up. What's going on? You must be just as clueless as the rest of us. The train left us all here at the outskirts of the city. All the train personnel, everyone gone. No explanations. Does this have something to do with the war? Your guess is as good as mine. We decided to stay and wait for a while. Something has to come from the train sooner or later. So we're not in a hurry. I recommend just taking a seat inside and trying to relax. What's your name anyway? I'm Levi's. Meant to be Levi, but things got messed up. My name is Marina. My name is Olivia. Lovely to meet you all. You can call me August. He's another one of the characters we can't play as or recruit, but, but slight spoilers, he's a real badass. Aaron Sauer, a journalist on Judy. Hey, I'm Henrik. And this mystic gentleman over here is Osa. It was Osa, right? I'm pretty sure it was. We were the first to wake up. Before he came out, we were talking about this. You saw the Dream 2, right? You saw Dream 2? Everyone saw the scene Dream for waking up in a train. The moon, the grown-up pink dress, the festival of Termina? It all felt too real to pass off as just a dream. Not this talk again. We should have asked that army pig. That Bremen pig. 
I should mention that in this world, Bremen is basically Germany, so you know he is basically working for the uh, so for the Nazis. I'd basically say, although this is basically like some way like, like after he took Czechoslovakia in this world, they decided just to do a sudden peace treaty. He was in way too much furry to leave. I bet he knew something. It smells like a cystic army experiment. It sounds exactly like something Bremen Army would be part of. And similar hallucinogen experimental war prisoners. Now that the war is over, they have to get their guinea pigs elsewhere. I wish I had a capacity in vice, but I really have a hard time believing any conspiracy theory throwing around. I'm a journalist. I covered wars, you know. Yes, that is a quote reference to Dead Rising, so kind of fitting I chose to play this game given that they had the remaster recently. And also I should mention that magic is a thing in this world, so you know. You don't need some flaky eye patch foreigner telling me what's possible and what's not. Now let's see what I've seen during these past few years. I've covered wars too, you know. All men and women for the past decade or two have covered wars. What's your point again? I've seen my fair share of hallucinogens as a doctor, and I could tell from a first hand experience that there are no known chemicals that create visions that vivid. Especially your visions are identical with this many people. Yeah, you can feel the tension between these two. Real molar and scully energy here. Hey, take it that we're done here. As much as I like it, I don't have time to play happy campers with you people. I have a job to do. Which way is the city? Hmm. Look, they're over the forest top. You see the tower staying erect in the mist? That tower marks center preval. You can hike the forest to get there. It's not that far away. Yeah, so lucky the train stopped right at the other side of this town, I suppose. Alright then. Hi, nice Sion. Let you know you guys are waiting here. Have fun finding a scoop from the sleepy town. You know what to find if something comes up. What are you going to do? We're here, I guess. I'm not in a hurry. Day one. Monologue with the moon. But yeah, I know how I was joking about this game being like Majora's Mask. That is the case, because there is actually like three day in-game days you have to actually beat the game before bad stuff happens. Yeah, just heard I spoil it now. Basically, time moves whenever you take a nap. Let's shout the folks here. Nice day, isn't it? Brings you here. Uh, nothing much. A twist of fate, perhaps? I'm just passing through. I think I should get inside. Miss is creeping in. Also, I should point out, yes, you can attack people, but there is a lot of people around. Might not be the best idea. If you do that, you actually get tied up and basically have to wait until, like, what, day three-ish before you can get out? This horse creeps me out. Oh, I think the forest bed here is very fascinating. There seems to be all kind of medical herbs growing around. Would you look at that behind? Are you dead serious? If you keep that up, I'll come up with a better use for this wrench. Jeez, Henrik. How about making yourself useful? Maybe we'll do just that. Just wait and see, Ginger. Yes, go make me proud. What is it that you want? What's your story? My story is none of your concern. Besides, I do not wish to bore you with such tedious and dragged down stories. Oh, for Tyre got my attention. Yeah, he's like the only person who's like wearing clothes from the original game in the 15, 1400s. Is a traditional wear for my kind. I'm a yellow mage. As a magician? As much of a magician as a child playing a toy rifle to a great war veteran. That's impressive. It is not impressive. You should be scary. It is dangerous beyond your wildest nightmares. Do not talk lightly about things you do not understand. That's what my masters told me at least. I wouldn't want to be as rude. What about you? Oh, hi. You weren't introduced before. I'm Abella. Nice to meet you. I'm a bit busy right now. I'm trying to check if I get the train working order again. It's not just at the train stop, or for some reason it won't start up either. I'm shaking up in some things. This is Marco. He's not much of a talker. And again, Jeremy Bear Kids says Bester, maybe there is something that crazy theory of hers. Nah, something doesn't seem right here. What do you plan to do? I'll probably just head up too. There's no telling how long it takes for someone to come for the train. Also, I should mention, if you do attack him, he actually quotes, uh, let's rip and tear, and he says, like, that's the thing people say when they're fighting, right? But I'm not attacking him because, again, there's, like, 
a bunch of people around who could beat me up. I forget exactly what characters can like restrain me if you kill someone else, but I know there's Dan, Tanaka down there, Marco, and uh, Karen can do a citizen's arrest where you can actually choose to try and fight back, but you get killed if you do so. Besides, so he's right around the corner. Yeah, let's say hi to him. Good afternoon. It's Kida Tanaka. Good to make your acquaintance. It's really troublesome. What has come of our train trip? I'm not entirely certain on what to do. I have some urgent bit of the city. Should I go on foot and wait for the train to continue? I don't know. Yes, I figure everyone's puzzled about the situation. But yeah, we should get moving too. There is stuff worth grabbing here, I think. Can I grab this? Oh, I thought I could. I know that there's lavender you can actually grab as an item, but it doesn't seem I can grab this patch. And you can use it like to heal your mind. And yeah, Tanaka goes off to the city quick, pretty quickly. And he won't join your party because he's like, sorry, I don't want to slow you down. I'm, I'm in a rush. I could have sworn you could grab some of these plants as like healing items or anything. Nope, barrels. What have we got in here? Multi bread, yum. Turnip, a little more yum. But yeah, we do definitely want to. Okay, this is actually a plant we can't get because we're not Olivia. She's like a skill that lets you actually take up some of these plants for yourself and they're actually health helpful like for crafting. Ooh, penny buns, nice. Okay, I actually had to stand that one to get it. Maybe I have to stand in here? Oh! Okay, there we go. Now I got some lamb draft to pick up like the flowers on the ground. Oh. Sure, something I forgot to grab from the uh train actually. To be honest, I purposely forgot it because there was some because it would introduce this one more character we may or may not see, but the sleepy one. What are you doing? Just felt a little artistic. Actually, I hate drawing. I'm really bad at it. Luckily, ritual circles don't require the same skills. Yeah, it's this guy over here. Let's put it lightly, he's the asshole of the group. What do you want? Uh-huh. Man just keeps looking directly at you without saying a word. Weird situation we're in, right? Especially keeps getting more grim. That fucking does it. What was that? It seems to have some issues. That's putting it mildly. I haven't seen the mothbone now. Probably best just ignore him. Yeah, this is it. Combat manual pre evil map. Yeah, I think his name is like Drago or something like that. He's basically a mafia guy. Actually, actually in the mafia, not like formally part of it. And as you can guess, he's kind of an asshole. But yeah, now we can actually look at the map here and see where we are. It looks like we're on the outskirts, and there are a few different ways we can actually get to the city from here. And as you can see, we've got, let's see, the old town, the mayor's manor, some train station, the church, Mausoleum Alley, Temple Direction, Sylvian Square, which I guess is where they had all their lovemaking sessions, I got a joke. Midnight Gazette Preval thing, shopping district with a few shops, the National Museum, St. Domic's Orphanage, where Levi used to live for a bit, and of course Hollow Tower, and also the Paneski Lessi, which I guess means something forest. I know in an update they're gonna have like a little boardwalk section, you know, like one of those little boardwalk carnival sections. In the 2.0 update at least. Sadly we don't aren't gonna get to see that yet. And let's look at the combat manual for a bit. Make survival close combat situations. Lesson 1, strategic dismemberment. Serving different limbs to best subdue their attacks, so if they have a weapon, it might be good to go for that one first. Going for the head, which heads are usually weaker, but going for it might be a bit difficult. If you take out the legs, you can throw them off balance to make them vulnerable for headshots. Lesson 2, rev up. This is that thing I explained to the eyes. Get more revved up naturally. You can use one or two points to boost your strength from attack. Or three to action an additional attack to swing. And there are also some skills that you actually require rev points, which are mentioned in the descriptions. And for lesson three, there are some attacks which can cause massive damage or other status effects. Most of the time they usually telegraph them, you can see them coming. If you can if you actually guard, you can actually block the attack, get a guaranteed dodge, or you can risk and have to coin flip. Basically, you know, flip a coin, and if you call it right, you can get a lesser penalty. In lesson 4, we can use guns to shoot people. So, have fire equipped, some animals to spare, and press shift. 
weaker foes can, might be killed in a single hit, but they usually defend from enemy to enemy. And yeah, like there's some enemies where the skills don't, where the gun skills don't really work. Running, running of course, hold shift to run. And if an enemy spots, we go into retention mode where our stamina depletes quickly. If you have guns, you can't run in a gun. No running and gunning. And if you hurt our legs, you can't run either. But yeah, it's just basically like a little guide to give us some basic hints. Okay, now we can get going. Now we've looked at the guy, checked the map, and Metrock or whatever his name is. Oh yeah, we're like in the poor part of town in Sturd Cottage. What's in here? Egg. Rotten meat in a platter. Oh yeah, let's take some. Ugh, our maggot's crawling inside. Yeah, we can't get any more from that, sadly. And this worn-out bed's full of dirty dishes, so sleeping here is the last thing in our mind. Blue herb, which I think is a health healing item. Nothing in that barrel, it looks like. But yeah, I've been in this game for a decent bit before it started getting real popular, real noticed. Back when I think the first game was a thing, that's well. Oh, oh, just a rat. It's definitely a creepy game, and, and I remember back in the playing the first game. Oh, okay, another plane we can't grab. This one I can grab? Oh, nice. Blue herb. I mean, yeah, blue herb heals a bit of health. Lavender's this heals a percent of our mind. And also got food here. Some of it, of course, is better than others. Like rotten meat is questionable, as it says. Well, this is actually okay, I think. It doesn't say anything about status effects or anything. And yes, you can do some crafting to actually make some better food with this stuff. Like a meat pie, among other things. What's this way? Yeah, there are some hidden paths in the game you can grab if you're... You can find if you look carefully. It doesn't look like this is a path you can take, I think. Let's head north for now. An eerie silence fills the air, devoid of any life. Oh. Okay, right is Old Town, and to left is Maiden Woods. Oh, that's what that sign said, okay. Okay, more plants we can't grab. Oh yeah, I think Levi and Karen are like some of the toughest characters because Karen's abilities are more useful for newbie players, while Levi, of course, his skills are very situational, like they can't be used in combat. And of course, the fact that, you know, he can start off with a heroin addiction. Which I can't heal up for a bit any time, but I want to wait until we actually need it. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. Terminal is upon us! Yeah, you got, you got a bit of a psychopath already. Not the best first impression of the town. Nope. Yeah, we kind of want to avoid him for now. I mean, first of all, he's got a big old axe. Second of all, well... You ever see Alien? Trust me, it'll make sense if we fight him. So we, I mean, we do got the Kassar, which is nice, but now we're really craving some Jones for a hit. And I want to kind of look around before we go fighting. Here we are, old town. Your distant screams and ramblings. You're not alone. Well, hopefully these people are a bit friendlier than the woodsmen's. Old clothes. Empty buck with some grimy stains. Rain barrel. Ooh, some rifle bullets. Ah, this place. The stinking smell of Molefield's damn cottage. Let's take some of that toilet paper. It smells pretty bad. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, I can't abuse the type of small wounds and stop feelings, but, you know, it's not exactly the most hygienic way to patch up yourself. It'll give us an infection. Basically, infections will kill you after uh, several map transitions. Luckily, we actually have a green herb which for healing that as well, but we don't want to do that. Also, yeah, a bloody toilet home. And yes, the game lets us dump, jump in if we want to, but we're not exactly going to be able to get off that happens. Ooh, what's this? Lay ritual crucifix. You used to have these in the olden times, but you've never seen one in person. The smell and sight of sacrificed corpses are repulsive. I feel like throwing up. Yeah, it seems nasty. Oh. I meet. 
Uh, looks like one of the villagers there, and she does not look good. Ooh, booby trap. That's something we can lay down if an enemy walks over it can deal some pretty bad damage. Oh, actually just stuns opponents, which is also good in its own way. Uh, okay, let's take out the pistol for a bit and shoot knife lady. I mean, she's definitely one of the lower tier opponents, but still, I don't want to... Again, we are kind of jonesing right now, so we don't want to get in too much trouble. Oh, and her second behind her as well. Your woman reveals bloodstained knives underneath her apron. Empty gaze pierces through you as you feel her dread run high. Hold on, I don't want to start a fight. I said, having shot your arm off. The words are in vain. The villagers clearly are for blood. But yeah, there actually is different text for a lot of different enemies you can encounter for, for your first time. Including some pretty obscure ones, but... Yeah, we did. She basically comes around with two knives, so we want to go for a second arm. Oh, ooh. We also have bleeding. I think that only does damage in combat, but I don't remember. But yeah, now that she's missing both her knives, all she can just do is a weak attack, which is a good bit weaker than her normal attack. Well, I say that, but she's also actually does about as much damage as a manic stab. Let's try and go get this guy over here as well. Oh. Dang it, he walked right by the boat. Oh. Okay, I actually just killed this guy. This thing is that he has like the one big axe and also uh, can throw down some... What are they? Uh, bear traps, which he can... Which he might have to jump to dodge if he roll thing. Let's go to Sickles. Not as good as a Kassara, though, but we'll take keep it with us. That's the woman. We found the knife. And also we can beat her up, but it doesn't do much. How many of the pigs? They're pigs steering a pen. They look well fed. A uh, spoiler alert, sometimes there's some post-game overcuts and post-death cutscenes, and if you, one of those cutscenes lets you see why those pigs are so well fed. Nope, oh, striking smell molds. Old Fool's Cottage. Gross books, but yeah, books are pretty important in the game. Oh, locks broken and jammed, damn it. Empty buck with some sipid stains, metal crate. Ooh, glass shards. And a single shilling from the cupboard. Okay, I am bleeding a bit. Let's, uh. I shut up. Oh, lucky we didn't get an infection, it looks like. I guess it's just a chance to cause an infection. That's good. And what's in the fridge? White file, which is... Okay, cures poisoning. And I think that last that is nausea, I think, from a few certain things. Or else it's... Should sink. I need to grow stuff. Oh yeah, definitely I'm excited to do some stuff for... Oh. Okay, for... radio doesn't work. Some charred black matter with some pus in there. Ooh, yum, black matter. Looks tasty. Can't totally what looking at. Very nice pus in there. It might be edible. Oh, okay, I guess I took a second thing from the rest of them. An old cupboard. I sure it's actually useful because you can throw them at enemies to blind them potentially. Oh. Yeah, I saw a woman in there walking around. Cupboards with dirty laundry and a lone candle. Remember, you can actually light them to help make things a little less grim in there, because I think darkness does hurt your mind stat. What do we got down here in this two-story house? Useless junk. One man's trash is your trash too in this case. Oh yeah, this is going to be like the first game in this part of uh, the Spooktacular Streamathon to raise money for Gamers Outreach. Ooh, meat pie. Actually, some something actually kind of tasty. Old-fashioned meat pie, rather easy to make. Or do. Oh. Virtual circle car here. Okay, yeah, there's like a chalk you can get in the game. What's in the bookshelf? Ooh, skin bible. Chapter of the God of Fear and Hunger. And yeah, these have a few different things. First off, this lets us talk about... learn about a god and also a bit of extra stuff about them. This is written by Inky and Karian. Which actually is one of the four characters you could play in the first game. He was like the uh, Dark Priest. He's like the mage of the game. Now let's take a look at it. There are popular texts that tell stories of a false god and a chosen human joining together in the darkest and the wettest of dreams. Gotten and long dormant god of the depths perished that night. 
Only an older god never truly perishes. In its stead, the god of fear and hunger planted its roots to charge her influence on the surface world. The scheming false deity had hoped her daughter would be the light of mankind. Only true darkness does not breed light. The god of fear and hunger was a pure child, blank slate birthed in the darkest pits of human creation. That is where she grew. That is all she knew. She was a pure representation of fear and hunger, not spoiled by even a glimmer of hope. Mankind had seen its share of stagnation and suffering up to that point. To rise from those perilous pits, growing pains were necessary. Progress comes at a price. Fear motivated people, while hunger kept them moving forward. People cherished their hardship and drew inspiration from it. They learned from it. What followed was an advancement the mankind not seen since for forgotten ages. The dark fumes that rise from the pipes of modern cities are direct consequences of era, era that came to be known as the Cruel Age. The mark of fear and hunger raises the agility of its wheeler. But yeah, that's as long as it gives you some more, basically gives you their sigils. So that way, if you're playing as Marina, you can carve that on yourself to boost your agility. And also actually lets you draw the sigil on these pit things if you have the chalk for it. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Oh, nice, you unlocked the basement doors. So now we can head out here. Still doesn't look any nicer, though. Ooh, mushroom soup, stewed in a crate, yummy. Oil. You can actually throw that at enemies. And the card doesn't seem to be working. It's locked firmly to padlocks. One is an eagle and the other is a two-tailed lion. If we force the gate up, we can just put in like a single round of combat where we can try and kill the gate in a single blow, but we don't have the strength at this point. Doors locked, simple lock. Closed until tomorrow. Maybe I can break it open, but it's basically just a little shop, but... Chained up coffins. Chains seem reinforced and really difficult to open up. No reaction. Can't hear anything from inside. Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing creepy in there. Nope. And we're starting to feel hungry. How is our hunger? A 71%? We can probably go for some dried meat. Okay, I think I just filled this up, basically. And I should mention that healing that uh, healing in this game is oh, I was trying to run past this guy, but wild charge that you the blank expression in this gas mask. Healing saving is very limited in this game in a few places, but okay, maybe we can try and talk this guy. Oh, oh yeah, I got us the spray since Okay, yeah, I think we're so slow that he managed to just attack us first before he could do anything. So we're just going to go through the intro real quick again, just try and get all the stuff we got before. Yeah, like I said, Fear and Hunger isn't exactly a... can be a pretty cruel game, to be honest, so... Dying to that for pretty early on is definitely a thing that's going to happen, especially since we're playing as Levi. If we had chosen something like a Marco or a Bella, we might have had an easier time, but... We're playing as the guy who's got a bad heroin addiction, so... And yeah, the loot is semi-random, so this time we got, like, pep pills, which are... Which basically give us a bit of speed, but then may slow us down for a bit. Ooh, a single shotgun shell in that luggage. Be really nice to get a shotgun. Moth fragment, that's for bleeding. Oh, can I grab this one? Okay, no. But yeah, I'm mostly just going to go through this. I'm just trying to finish up. Just trying to get back to where we were. And I am going to still try and kill the janitor again because I want his Kassara. Uh, it's, you know, a pretty decent weapon for this point in the game. Might help out a bit. Yeah, I'm really excited to be taking part in another Gamers Outreach event. I think I was part of the uh, Summer Slam as well, so... I definitely have a bit of experience with the like, Gamers Outreach as well, so... I really hope we get some good money this time around. If you don't know the incentives and goals, you can just type in the little exclamation point incentives or goals over on the side, but this could get a quick reminder of what you're doing. Or you, can, or you can type exclamation point donate, which will bring you to my page to donate. Right there. Yeah, 
Yeah, it does feel like there's a slight delay between shooting and being able to uh, actually like move or use change equipment. Well, that's okay. Since it's a dream, we should mostly dream. We should be able to heal up afterward. Nope. Oh, no, Sarah out. Yeah, attack power and weapons actually matters, but not so much defense. I think that's just like a changes how much damage you deal in terms with the resistances. Yeah, as for other plans, there's, let's see, the Bunny Graveyard is one game I've been looking at. There's, it's only going to be episode one. I'm not sure how long it is, but it's a little bit long. It should be like, I'm not sure how exactly long it is, but I've got some other stuff I can play if that's, if that doesn't take too long. There's, let's see, there's Streets of Road 2, of course, I've mentioned that a few times. The Anthology of the Killer, which is a game done by the, uh, guy who made Space Funeral. Also, hey there, Strange, so you welcome on in. We're actually, this is actually my second attempt at this, because I just got killed by Vile. Yeah, it's technically my first time playing the Fear and Hunger games, but I do know a little bit of stuff. Yeah, let's just get going and let's check the thing. And since we didn't meet Drago this time, we'll just grab the uh, books this time. And no, we're not going to rest here. And yes, you can rest there, but it also advances time as well as fully healing you. So you do want to be a bit careful about the resting too much. And yeah, we're just going to say we need to get going. That just skips the whole introduction with everyone. Yeah, let's just try and grab some of the stuff we lost from dying there. There is also an item you can get which lets you save where you're standing, but again, that sort of stuff is rare in this game because this game isn't exactly an easy game. Something, something, the Dark Souls or RPG Maker games. But yeah, Welcome on Strange too. Yeah, we're, we're still pretty early on in the game, like just starting out, but yeah, it's definitely been fun so far. Oh, grab some meat. Man gets in there, Penny Bun. Ooh, one minute lantern. I think we can throw that enemies to set them on fire. Ooh, bottle of beer in a crate, turnip. And I think we're playing as a bell. We could craft that into a weapon. Into a cool makeshift weapon, like a lantern flail or something. Pretty decent weapon, but. but yeah, just grabbing some lavender plants over here. Oh yeah, control the place. Yeah, this is a pretty good game. Definitely not for kids, though. That would be the kind of person who's willing to put up with, you know, like, nudity and stuff. <laughs> or you can just grab that little patch that patches out some of the nudity and stuff. Oh. Alright, there's a path up here we can take. This is a different path up to the town. Oh. Ooh, blue herb, nice. Miss slowly creeps in from the deeper woods. Right, pre well made in woods. And yeah, I did hear there's like a 2.0 version of this coming out soon, but I haven't seen exactly when it's coming out, so I just decided to play it now since Halloween was around. Oh, hey, Karen. What is it? Where are you going? I don't that make acquaintances right now. I spend enough time learning around. You're heading to the city? That's right. I'm going alone if that's what you're about to ask. All right, fine. But yeah, chat, the Discord basically voted for me to play the one of the tougher characters in the game, actually. Well, it was a four-way tie, and I just spun a wheel to pick it. But yeah, still, you know, that just makes the experience more fun. Right, another plant I can't grab because I'm not Olivia. Oh, oh that's nice. I'm going to decide to do a bit of a crucifixion. And yeah, he is in fact a nude. Yep. Lovely. Again, really nice, nice way to be introduced to town. Ooh, a bunch of red herbs. Give me those. If I was an evil fan, I'd probably know what these were useful for, but... Okay, intensifies the effect of other herbs. Yeah, there's crafting again. I think we need a certain book in order to do crafting. Oh, something... Did I see something like zoom past the screen there, or was that just me? You know, like a little... 
like little z speed lines or hmm. Yeah, it definitely is a wonderful town. Last, right before he popped up, we had a, man, had a man beat me to death with a cast with the what was the pesticide canister and, a, and spray me down with some of it as well. Well, granted, I probably would have been able to f talk to him if I talk him to death if I had wasn't fixing. Has Levi's got some issues from from the war? You know, recruited eight eight thirteen, made to go on a suicide mission that he was the only survivor of. You know. Oh, uh oh, that guy had a gun. I don't mind me, Mister. I'm just collecting some herbs. You know. Yeah, just enjoying the forest. Oh, got him. And he actually missed. The disturbed man raised his rifle and clearly tries to take aim at you. The situation got dangerous all of a sudden. And yeah, obviously talking doesn't work. Let's blast this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, critical shot. You know, not a good first attack. And that's not a good second attack either. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm used to... Yeah, of course these first two attacks involve... Of really good shots. And I'm dead. Like I said, Fear Nunger isn't exactly a forgiving game. Alright, intro part three. Hoping guys like, like weird naked guys at Kasara's, because we're going to be seeing that guy a few times already. Oh. oh, I think I skipped the intro back, and whoops. Oh well. That's fine, we were getting a little tired of waiting. Well, we're gonna have to deal with... He dealt that twice, so, you know. Third time's a charm, even if I'm just running around with the basic... the basic knife as a weapon instead. Might have to do a bit more shooting guys instead. Just until we get a better weapon. Yep. Yeah, let's just skip the meeting everyone and hey, we got to go to that tower thing. And let's go. And there are like three paths into the town, but this time I'm probably going to go for the wood, for the normal path again, instead of the one with the riflemen. I mean, I thought I'd be able to take him on because, because I don't remember him having that strong arms, but of course he had to get like two critical shots off in a row. Instead, he could have been just waving around his rifle like he did at the last turn. Oh, is that green herb or... Oh, I can't reach it. Okay. Yeah, Levi here is definitely not the character most people would have in their parties for the... Ooh, goulash. A lot better than this rotten meat. For like a final party pro because the fact that, you know he's he's got a heroin addiction and his skills aren't exactly doesn't exactly have any good battle skills the skills are more for like trying to weaken enemies before they get into a fight also a small key that can be used on some doors if i remember correctly you know there's one place in the future we can use that in at least Oh, yeah, I did remember, speaking of difficulties a while ago, there is going to be a thing that's called Cruelty and Terror and Starvation mode, which is basically going to be the regular mode, but harder. It also apparently is going to have its own little gimmick, but not quite as dangerous as Masochism mode's gimmicks. That's also something to look forward to. So, you know, if you want your game to be harder, but, you know, not not starting on the... not not, like, super hard. Right. Oh, what's that? Oh, what is that? What on earth is going on? They're dead. Oh, yeah. This is horrible. Should we report about this to someone? The local police? They hacked off leg and this guy staked here. Yeah. What was that? Oh, I think this bucket fell over. 
It looked like it fell over on its own. Yeah, that's what happened. I and we also got another these virtual circles here. Again, if you have chalk and a skin bible for a god, we can draw their sigil there, which gives us some affinity as well as does some other thing, depending on what we get. Also, wait. I said the woods was this way, but I'm not exactly seeing a way into there from here. Let me look around a bit. There are definitely some hidden paths in the game. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything this way. Well, I do kind of know how you're supposed to go that way, but it requires some stuff we don't have, so we're just going to have to keep going this way for now. Oh. Right, that's one of the herbs we can't get. This one's one we can get. Okay, well, the woodsman's distracted with this guy. Let's just quickly go loot his house. This slowly falls in rays of light. Yeah, I think this woodsman, his white net go outside our reference, a movie or story of some kind, I should mention. And yeah, let's just open this thing, even though there's stuck in yellow seeping from the inside. See, there's medicine inside. That's why it smells so gross. Dirty dishes and age old leftovers. Old coffee stains, glass shards, and a broken mirror. I mean, I feel like there's more than just the seven years bad luck going on here. A dirty tray with blood inside. Oh, okay, this is how we got up here. Mason's heavily locked with a specific key. No sounds coming from down there, but there's a lot of blood. Nice, more glass shards. Painting. Ooh, bookshelf, what do you got here? Ooh, chapter of Almer. Yeah, there's a crucifix of Almer on there, speaking of. Random junk. Ooh, Woodsman's Letter, we'll take a look at that in a sec. Let's see. First, let's look at the letter with crew writing on it. it seems to have been written in a hurry. The beast has entered this house. It is not my property any longer. The beast took my wife. It took my dignity. It took my faith. If it wasn't the full moon. I would let it take my life as well, by my own hand. Hmm. And let's look up, look up Almer here. He sent the one. One of the two human gods known to this day. There are two stories on the origins of Almer. The more common story speaks of a human born from a virgin mother, a mere mortal that had humble origins, but one that quickly rose to promise because of his teachings. Unlike the warring kings and sultans at the time, Almer's ideal would unite people of all different religions and ideologies under one umbrella. The powers of time once stand up for this and quickly held them rest in sentence for a public humiliation and eventual death on a cross. This only served Almer's purpose, making him a martyr, and the pain he went through pushed him over the edge to ascension to the true godhood. After his ascension, Almer returned to avenge his death. The bloodbaths that ensued shook the world to order and demolished the worship new gods at the time had been enjoying. The other version of Almer's orders tell how Sylvian, the older god of fertility, born a deity known as Etrusia to create an architecture program of a man and woman that would be to the likeness of Sylvian herself. Etruvia, being a master architect, did just that. Sylvian fell in love with the results. She wanted to create the mankind according to Vitruvia's drawings. First, Vitruvia was by maze by life, Sylvan managed to usher into her designs. However, over time, Vitruvia started to see small imperfections here and there. Nothing bothered her more than the idea that her designs were anything but perfect. So she shut out to create the perfect human being, the pinnacle of man's potential. This being was born on the year Nilanese, the one known as Almer today. On the surface level, these stories don't contradict themselves too much. On an ideological level, there are interesting differences. The other story tells a moral everyday man rose to royal for the power of the older gods, while the other story makes Almer just one more creation of the higher powers. The truth might lie somewhere between these stories, if you'd ask me. And this basically gives us more physical reflection if we get a sigil on us. But yeah, the first story is definitely just Jesus Christ. Well, except for the part where he did a big old bloodbath after coming back. That part's not so much Jesus Christ. Okay, let me... Let me... Oh. Let me 
Okay, this time we're gonna try and shoot some man. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice, got a shot off in the arm. Okay, now let's fight him. The woodsman approaches you ominously. There's silent rage in his eyes. A sense of terror fills the air. And yeah, remember what I was saying about him uh, being, uh, I was just talking about aliens earlier? Well, let's just try and kill him before anything happens. Oh, nice, he's not attacking his first turn. Oh, we actually managed to kill him before anything happened. Nice. Yeah, if you if after a few battles that uh, the uh, appendage skitters off and there's a coin flip chance for it to basically attach yourself to your face and you basically get paralyzed, stun locked to death while the woodsman beats you down. Let's look at what he's got. Basin the key and his axe. And again, you can try and dodge it if you can. If you have, you know, the uh if you defend. There we go. Got an axe. Almost as good as the uh on damage, but it is two-handed, I think, so we can actually lose that. Let's go here. Those stairs difference with glassy eyes. On a first glance, the creature seems harmless, but upon further investigating, you're met with feelings of great dread. Can it really explain why that is? I mean, we'll pet the goat at least. Absolutely no reaction. Its glassy eyes stare right through you. It almost feels that the goat thinks so highly of itself that it doesn't need to acknowledge you. Aw, oh, come on, goat. I'm trying to say hi. Hey, can we get any of these barrels? Okay, no. But yeah, he's like one of those guys who can actually chop off your arms or legs if he hits you with his axe. Because limb loss is a thing in the game, and it's pretty nasty it happens. Ooh, a pipe? We can smoke some wheat or some tobacco if we get that. Duct tape? That'd be useful if we were a Bella, but... Not so great for us. Off fragment. Oh, what's it say? Someone's just jumping everything they consider useless here. Okay, these two just linked up. Wheat flour for cooking, beer. I'll eat in a bit. I'm just a I'll just keep looking around a bit first. Mm. Oh. Seemingly dead old lady here. Well, she's she's been dead for a while now, just from the looks of her. Has some bash on the wrist or cut open. Cannot tell which one led to her demise. And nothing on it, but let's check the paper. Written with blood. I'll reunite with my lover on the other side. Something written here, but it's all not says Gramley's of crazy person. Tail the pocket cat. Oh boy. Can I get the reach the other bookshelf? Yeah, the first chapter an old fairy tale uses scared children from wandering off on their own. This copy is faithfully original, unlike the modern watered down versions of the story. But yeah, he's a character from the original game as well. It was a rainy day in the countryside just north of the forest of Merwood. Wilhelm, Willem, most mischievous child known in the town, stared at the raindrops behind the window steam, just longing for an adventure. His mother would warn him of going outside, bringing being false all kind of dangers not otherwise known to little boys, bringing down poor decent boys to help their parents with various household chores instead. Being the pompous boy was, Wilhelm refused to give a helping hand. The consequences of such refusals were all too familiar to Wilhelm. He gets sent to bed without dinner, and so he did. Riding under his blanket, bits of Wilhelm's anger brought forth his reflection from a mirror on the wall. Away from the mirror himself, himself is Melu, the sleeping twin brother of Wilhelm that came to this world far too early and thus he could only view the world from the land of opposites. That's what's like a phantom twin is what they call him. Melu wanted to warn his brother coming calamity, his word echoed from land opposites, and so they came out all wrong. Now his words encouraged Willem to join the coming adventure that was heading his way, getting fast in fact the adventure already squeezed itself through a small keyhole in the window frame. A large beetle man climbed in from the window. The beetle man was tall, taller than Willem's father and rounder than his father as well. The face of the beetle man is obscured. He wore a similar mask Willem's grandfather had worn in the war to avoid gas from melting his eyes and burning his lungs. Dracillo, the beetle man, had an urgent mission for Willem. You see, the ancient tank king of Turkello camp was under serious threat and Willem was the only boy who could help. Willem was a bit hesitant, but Turkello was already forcing a boy out from the bedroom window on the terrain. We got no time for thinking, said Turkello. The beetle man showed the way with his lantern. 
Well, the gnome had trouble keeping up with pace as Dracula flew fast deep inside the moat with his man beetle wings. Dracula's lander got more distant to Willem couldn't see it no more. Hopeless and now lost in the woods, they started crying. Not unlike how small song thrush chicks cry and beg for their mother for food. And just like that, a giant song thrush grabbed Willem and took him to a tree top nest full of chicks fighting for their place in the world. Willem tried to beg for a tasty worm from the bird mother. Competition was fierce. Those chicks knew that to succeed in life, you had to push the competition over nest boundaries. You know, that's the thing that birds do from what I've heard. And then to kill us goodbye and grab them with his cold beat me me and beetle arms. Let's see. Okay, we can't actually use it. Not one yet, looks like. But yeah, that story isn't half as much isn't as important as like some of the other books. From what I remember, but Okay, good news is that we've got a decent axe, which might help out with dealing with some of the monsters folks in the town. And also we can look stupid of exploring over here. Let me look at the map quickly. Oh, we are pretty beaten up. We got for healing. A single blue herb. Hmm. Oh, ooh. Is that a horse or cow? Can't really tell from this angle, but. Oh, uh oh. How much ammo do we have, actually? Nine bullets. I think we can try and shoot a couple of these for a bit. Oh, they're not heading for some reason. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. can't run away. Headless creature slowly approaches you. Ah, come on. Some rotten meat. There you go. Now it's distracted, we can just attack its torso. Nope. Oh. And let's attack the hat, the body. Uh, that's uh, three kills now so far. Now it really sucks to leave. I said I can't even try and talk to those things easily because of the fact that I that I go slower because of my addiction, so they actually are able to like go before I can actually talk. Man. Once again, I'm gonna try and go for intro just so we can get to Kasara. Cause I feel like I could, it's worth trading a single bullet for a, a few extra, a few bullets for a bit decent melee weapon. Okay, lantern, shillings, cloth fragment. But yeah, definitely going tough, a bit tough so far. But you know. Fear and Hunger games aren't exactly known for being friendly. Yes, Jenner, I know. Make cubes. Alright. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it's still this far. It's just, you know, a bit of a tough start, of course, because I, of course, had to run to roll one of the tougher characters and someone decides to vote that I start out with a heroin addiction. I mean, it might be, probably would be easier if I didn't start it with and instead just, you know, shot some and tried shooting enemies to death, but... You know. Oop. I thought I could switch out quickly, but... Okay, gonna have to waste a few more bullets on him. Also, it looks like my status effect is actually underneath my uh, health bar. Oh, there we go. Got a crit on him. I mean, I'd say I wish I got earlier, but, you know. On the other hand, that. What am I thinking the same? Yeah, you know, saying I wish I got it earlier, but, you know, the health. We do heal up after the section because this is supposed to be a dream. Still.
Hey, Percolé. Percolé. I'm always gonna laugh at that stupid video now. Just thinking about when I think about the sky. Yep, hey, bud. Yep, it's time for the festival. Of I hope your October is going to be a good one. I know I've been watching this. I don't mean I should catch a bit of Spirited Spider because he's doing like a big thing from her for his the beginning of October. Like last year at the end of the thing, he, someone murdered him basically. And he, you know, like his, yesterday they're holding like a fake funeral for him before he's popped into like some musical number. Sort of a little bit Beetlejuice-esque, gotta say. I really need to finish up watching it after the stream because I, I watched a bit of it before... But, you know, it started at like 10 because there were like a couple of delays for it, but... And also, just checking, I don't have any equipment I can use. Yeah, he's a really cool guy, but... Anyway, let's keep... let's get going. Let's see if round three goes any better. Right, nothing down here. Mushroom. Oh, I gotta check this one to get the rotten meat. Ooh, more, more pistol bullets, nice. But yeah, I think we're gonna take the main entrance into town and just trying to be careful with the villagers. Because I know there is a way to get a party member earlier on, but you do gotta be kind of careful about some of the stuff. You can do it. Yeah, I'm definitely sure I can raccoon. It's just, you know, just trying to deal with, like, the fact that I start out with a big stat debuff because I'm kind of... So my guy's kind of dealing with the traumas of war. By which I mean, no. Pretty bad heroin addiction. Alright, Tanaka hasn't come up here yet. That's why he's not here. He takes him a little bit to walk up here, but I'm just grabbing an herb right now. And yes, I could fight him if I wanted to, but I don't really need, want anything he has right now. Because there is a reason to kill out the other characters in the game, but that's a bit later for skill development stuff. And to go into slight spoilers, I think the skills Tanaka gains are all just generic stat boosts, which are fine, but not really that use amazing. Okay. And up the pistol. Oh, come on. Okay, I think he just has one arm, so I can go with Kassara now. Ah, oh, goddammit, I shot off his other arm. Ah, for fuck's sake. And of course I failed to run. Well. This is four deaths now, right? And, and you know, fuck it, I'm skipping the intro, I'm tired of... I'm tired of having to go for like, what, five minutes just to get a Kassara? I mean, it is nice, but I'm getting a little tired. I think in our ways to save in the game, I think there's like, let's see, there's, ooh, this is new. Soul Devourer Necklace, very fancy. Silver Necklace with Soulstone bent on it. Soul wound begins to get otherworldly powers. That's nice, but not exactly useful at this point. But still, nice bit of piece of loot to get early on, I gotta say. Anonymous donation for ten dollars. Thank you. So let me double check from the uh, incentives again quickly. That means you can get either. Let me see quickly. Me to sing karaoke song, write a Twitter blue sky post, or you can do two bean boozled beans, or a PNG and a bean boozled bean. One of those few. But yeah, if you're in chat, just let me know, and, I'll, and I can do that quickly. 
Okay, not much else is in the chest luck, unfortunately. And that one is empty. Nice, first donation of the first donation of the campaign, awesome. Here I go, looting the forest again. Hopefully not getting killed by any woodsmen again. Oh yeah, next time I might just try and unload into the woodsman instead of just like trying to go for an arm and then jump on him. Because again, he can actually one wheel the hat one arm that hatches. Ooh, Edelstone, what's that? Ring has long gone new god battle. It's magic new battle that's constantly leaking from the crystal. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but cool. And I forgot which one of the god's battle is. I think they were in the first game, but I don't remember exactly which one that was. I might have to take a look. I keep thinking that's like a blue herb, but it's like just a, one of the herbs that only Livia can grab. Hmm. And right, there's one green herb over here we can grab at least. Bucket jump scare. It's an aqua, yeah. Messy scene there, buddy. And right, I could go over the way that Aaron is and grab some of the stuff that way, but I think it's mostly herbs and plus the one gunman. Okay, this time we'll go and run into the guy's house and try and loot in there first before we do anything. Okay, these barrels are empty, just had to make sure. Mushrooms. Wait, are flight yammy not as the poisonous ones? Yeah, they are, okay. Relatively mild poison, well known even by small children. Yep, thanks to good old Mario. Well, Mario doesn't teach them that they're poison, he just teaches them that if you eat them, you'll feel like they'll get big. Yeah, I definitely gotta make use of glass shards as well to try and blind some of the tougher enemies if I find any. What do you got up here? Oop, right, glass shards. Oh, can't check that cupboard, just check, got the candle. Uh, Anathomia. Let me take a look at that. Book of Collected Knowledge and Medical Science. Ooh. Collected Knowledge, Homer, the Ossia. Okay, symptoms and effects. Passion, fracture, broken bone, bleeding, mild poisoning, poisoned, heavy poisoning, infected woman arm, infected woman leg, blindness or eye trauma, severe mental trauma. I don't remember that one, but. That one's severe physical trauma, nausea, sickness, confusion, withdrawal, severe withdrawal. God, we know those ones. Irritation, burn, temper paralysis, hunger, fear. Okay, yeah, that book just basically tells us a quick thing about the status effects we can get. So sadly, nothing too useful. But you know, arguably more useful than the pocket cat book. Okay, should have gotten off both his arms. There we go. Ooh, crit! Hell yeah! That's what I like to see. An actually useful crit. 
He's got his axe as well. And again, this is a two-handed weapon, so if we do lose an arm, like from, say, Woodsman chopping it off, then we do lose that on it. And right, just for I check the body again. Oh, yeah. Oh, we get to go to Carrot. Eats without any festivities. It still doesn't acknowledge your existence in the slightest. Oh, come on, goat. I'm trying to say hi, buddy. Something about your goat? Hmm. Alright, now let's see what we got down here. Mostly in terms of loot. Ooh, piece of chalk. Hell yeah, this means you can actually draw those circles, actually. Pressure plate, which I think is basically used for crafting, but... I think that stuff would be more useful if we had a bell out with us. Goat hoof, which I think is a type of food we can use. Is it? Okay, it's a body... It's a body back item, still relatively fresh. And hey, there's Clonky. Yeah, chalk is pretty good in this game. Because it lets you draw, like, the ritual circles. I know there's a few guaranteed locations for a few very useful items, like a uh, axon, a few other things, but... And right, there's nothing to really get else from her. Forgetting that there's nothing you can loot from her. Newspaper article, let's take a look at this. Let's see, end of the Great War II, you know, aka alternate World War II. Roman Eastern Union agree on terms of peace treaty, and a sale, peace sale on Wayford automobiles, hell yeah. There's a week old newspaper article about the supposed end of the Great War II. Yeah, it's literally like two week old. So this game takes place on either September or October 1942. And again, this is alternate Earth, basically. So I basically just imagine like real if the real World War suddenly ended on night this day. Ooh, the biggest powers in the Western world. Eastern Union and the Bremen sell for peace just after the last aggressive push by the Bremen troops having been destroyed prior to the treaty. Eastern Union is, I think, is like England and a few other places. The Bremen troops seized part of a small pretty preville located in central Bohemia, just west from Lake Verde Ver today. And I think central Bohemia is either Bohemia or uh, Czechoslovakia. The town's is considered especially aggressive in it and is widely considered advanced peace agreements on a larger scale. Another major factor behind the peace of the joint assaults against the Eastern Union on both the Western and Eastern fronts. From the rest, the remnants of the King of Rondon kept attacking the Eastern Union from the East. The Kingdom of Edo continued to campaign after prior defeats. Okay, Rondon is, is like England slash Young again. Kingdom of Edo, well, that's obviously Japan. They go into small details, but that seems to be the gist of the article. Yeah, this game basically takes place like a week after a sudden peace agreement. And laughter, like, basically took Czechoslovakia. Yeah, a little surprising that'd be so interesting taking a small town, wouldn't you say? Well, yeah, luckily we managed to kill the woodsman and we're not gonna go check out the apple dogs just yet. Ooh, mushrooms. Or, you know, the, uh, the wolves. Oh. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like there's a path through the forest from the if we go in this area, we have like the cross and the guys in there, we can go to the west here. And I think this is where the gate was, basically. Oh, more mushrooms. I mean, we can't eat them if we need to, but we probably shouldn't. I mean, hunger is a thing in the game, but... I mean, I should be careful about it. And yes, Gonk, I hope you know that sh that whoever chose to give Levi an addiction definitely gave made this early game much harder for us. As you know, imagine trying to talk to a monster so you can give it rotten meat so it'll calm down to instead have it bite you before you even do it. Because I think it also affects the speed set so enemies usually get to go first. And no, even being able to pop a cap into them makes it good. It's a fun story. Yeah, that's definitely how I felt about it as well, you know. It makes things interesting, playing one of the harder characters for my first time. So I'm sure a lot of people like see Levi, see that he's like the first there and think, okay, he must be the one we should play first in terms of things. Okay, let's see if we can take out this woman here. Where'd she go? Can you see me? Oh, there she is. 
Is that as far as they can go or something? Oh, no. There they go. Okay, I think I might sure have gotten at least one of her arms. Okay, good. So now she's just got her, her basic tackle. Oh, nice. Actually, one shot. Nice. Got a knife. Yeah, disarming is a definitely big thing in the game with some of these enemies. Okay, so there is supposed to be a funny way you can actually deal with this guy. Basically, you talk to him to keep basically going, What? I can't hear you. He'll try and take off his gas mask to talk to you, and he might choke on the fumes, but... Oh. And of course, you run right into another guy. Ah, great. Can he... Oh, I think Bale's ring gives some sort of regen effect. Okay, gotta defend this turn to avoid the bear trap. Oh. Oh, jeez, he stunlocked me. God damn it. Oh. Hey, remember what I said about those pigs? They look well fed. Yep, there are a few neat game overs in this game where you get to see just what horrible thing happens to you. Although usually in those cases because you die to an instant death attack. Like one monster which just like grabs you by the head and crushes your skull. Freaks you like strings you up in the town square on that big old cross we saw a bit earlier. You know. But yeah, once again we're skipping the intro since we're on like life, what, five or six right now? I've kind of lost count at this point. I mean, it's good to go through the intro because we can get a decent weapon for early on from it, from it, but... But, you know, getting a little tired of dying over and over to it. You know, combat manual and stuff. You know, it's like one death, one game over actually where it doesn't actually kill you, but... But some not-so-good stuff happens in the uh, AO category. I think at least one or two, actually, where you don't die, but bad stuff happens. Still, you know, like I said, there, I have the AO ticker up there for a reason. Yeah, and this one did suck, because we did lose out on some pretty good accessories early, for early on. Whether it be Beetle's Ring or the uh, Soul Ca whatever it was, Talisman. Which definitely would have been useful to hang on to. Just finding food recent right now. Mushrooms. Turnip. But yeah, I might return to this game sometime in the future if and when they do a 2.0 pat the 2.0 patch for this game, because I did remember seeing a video about how that patch was coming along sometime in the future and oh there's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff in that one, including like let's see, fishing. They're going to have a hard mode, which isn't like the uh, harder than hard mode that the game already has. Some new enemies and such. A new area, which is sort of off to the... If I show you the map, it's going to be a... Oh. You like sort of quote-unquote dungeon areas. It's going to be like right around here -ish, I think. It's going to be like a boardwalk area with like the carnival stuff as well, I think. And a bit more in-depth stuff as to some of the stuff that goes on through the endings. You might think, uh, ending C and A, maybe? Not to get too much into spoilers, because ending B is sort of like the where are they now ending, to put it lightly. Again, not going too much into spoilers, but... Which is sort of like with the first game with ending S, where you had to basically play on the hardest difficulty, and it was unique for the character you played as. But long story short, they do survive that ending. Which does explain why the skin bibles from Enki still show up. As he was in the first game, so... It implies, it kind of implies that in this game he got his S ending from that one, where he, like, finds enlightenment or something. Or, you know, just finds the knowledge he's been seeking. Okay. I'm assuming I have to wait for the cutscene to play before I can actually start attacking him. 
actually, let's just go check the house first. Just see if there's anything useful in here. Rika, is that? Oh, it's pepper. Okay. That looks more like a bell pepper than a. I thought paprika was like a spice, not a you know the bell pepper. Because I remember growing up with like Blue's Clues, actually, and you know they had their baby paprika, salt and miss. Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper, whatever their names were, and how they had their little baby paprika. Which, you know, it begs some obvious questions about re about salt shaker reproduction, but hey, it was cute having a little baby baby spice. Okay, what is it? got four ages of modern history. Let's see. Modern age and modern chronology begins from the birth of our Lord, the ascendant one Almer. If he saw a priest when I said he's disguised basically Jesus. There are many fabricated religious texts about Almer. There's enough evidence to prove that they didn't indeed exist as a real person at the time. His birth will mark the first stage. The second age started from the reign of the so-called new gods in year 410. New gods, I think, are like humans who sense it basically godhood. There's texts about different new gods prior to this event. The concept didn't exist in ancient times as well, but this group of people include the fame warrior for the Eastern Sanctuary, Nashrath the Great. This alone made this group more distinguished compared to the ones that came before. Their world order started a slow decline a few hundred years after their deaths, only to be ended by the Fellowship around the year 800. All their book, The Fellowship, inspired the contemporary people of the time and lived the four people of the Fellowship, Francois, Chambra, Nilvan, and Vatel, to near godlike status. Their age will last till the end of the 16th century. The Western world is in a dark age, a time enough nowhere appeared a new idol of worship, the god of fear and hunger. Who forgot to teach the olden times of disease and death and turned onto this new savior. Oh, hey there, Gamers Outreach. Welcome on in. Thanks. Yeah. We're actually playing a Fear and Hunger Terminal for our first game this year, which is definitely a bit of a grim horror game, but it's a good one nonetheless, even if it's very cruel. I think we wound up choosing one of the harder characters of this game to play as. The appearance of the God of Fear and Hunger started the fourth age, which mankind had to learn to adapt and evolve. As times have progressed, we're still living according to this ideology. But yeah, long story short, basically, in the last game's A ending, we basically help bring around this new god, and it doesn't well end for, for the character we play as, but it does help out humanity as a whole, so, you know. Oh, you know, so it's a good thing. There's definitely talk about which of the character, since the god of fear and hunger woke up, which character was the one who altering about. Apparently, people all think it's a mercenary, since they don't see any real reference to them in the... Oh, okay, let's juke, juke the woodsman. Because there isn't too much any reference to him in this version of the game. Long story short, I mean, I'm not gonna get too much into like spoilers for the first game. Oh. Okay, that's one arm. But we want both arms. Because we don't know which arm is gonna, if we hit the arm with the axe or the one that doesn't have it. Oh. Okay, I can live with having to shoot him. Okay, good. And yeah, like I said, Gamers Outreach, this isn't a game for kids. Okay, hopefully we can just shoot off his, his torso. Or kill him quickly. Yeah, there's this game and then there's the seat in the first game. Oh boy. And that's the coin of judgment I was talking about. Basically, if we have to roll, flip that coin and... And luckily we avoided what's basically being stunlocked to death. Along with a mix of, uh, you know, getting the alien's treatment. <laughs> it's all good, kid friendly games are not a requirement. Yeah, that's good to hear, because yeah, this is definitely on the higher end of the stuff, as in, I can only find this game by having Church Off Steam's uh, safe search thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely an interesting game. Yeah, definitely good to dodge one of those squonky. It's basically an instant death, but it's kind of delayed. And yeah, the game definitely does have a cool mix of IRL turn based combat. I think the first game had that a bit, but you didn't really have so much focus on combat. Like in terms, in this case, you're more trying to avoid it because it's a lot easier to like get lose limbs or die. Oh, mushrooms. Well, in this game, you actually want to try and fight enemies because you can't actually gain like skills for your characters more in this one. We haven't reached that point yet, though. We've died like five or six times at this point, I think. The things including a woodsman. A villager then fed us some pigs, a rifleman, and yeah, lots of nasty stuff. 
Ooh, bolts and scrap metal, which should be good if we had a Bella, a Bella, which is one of the four characters that we potentially, which we spun for, because we have like four, a four way time which character to play as. Anything in here? Kill the pocket cat. Okay, we already got that one last time. We've already read it, so no need to read it again, I think. Yeah, didn't we get shock last playthrough as last playthrough as well? So yeah, that's another thing we really lost out from dying that time. Yeah, honestly, I probably should have just like cut my losses and take a rest back to the train at that point. Even if it would advance the time. Because it is entirely possible to beat the game within a single time period, because there's like three parts of a day, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's just grab the toilet paper, even, you know, is nasty mean. It can potentially stop the bleeding wounds, so you might as well take it. I mean, you know, any port in a storm, even if that port will give you a horrible infection. Ooh, pipe. How's that compared to the axe? Oh, it's not... Oh, right, smoking pipe, right. Yeah, it's mostly useful for, like, uh, healing up the... Uh, for smoking tobacco if you get it, which is good for healing mind. Okay. Oh. She's coming. Oh. I forgot I can't run one hold I can't run a gun. Okay, let's try and go for the arm. Okay, didn't get a bleed off luckily, so we're still horribly beaten up, I just noticed though. Ooh, nice crit. We definitely needed that. Two shillings. Okay. Okay, as long as I don't die here. Okay, let's just try and avoid any fights here. Oh, right, we can go into this house. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's shoot this guy and get into that house. Can't get out through that basement, at least. So if we get in here, we should be able to... Right, isn't there a woman in this house as well? I'm gonna have to be careful about that as well. Especially since I'm kind of low on, he on bullets and health. Moldy bread, some black matter, which is apparently like some sort of Burnt, horribly burnt pasta. Yep, there's a woman right there. Oh, what do we got upstairs? Old rags. Ooh, chest. Yeah, this is one of the places where we can actually flip to see if we get something good. Ooh, ring of the still blood. Written is said to make blood still and thus prevent bleeding. There's no way to explain this but magic. So yeah, that just makes us immune to bleeding, if I remember correctly. So that's definitely a good thing to find early on. We'll make dealing with the late these knife woman a bit easier. Because, you know, getting stabbed won't be as dangerous. Okay, just dirty laundry in the cupboard. Hang on, I'm just trying to see if I can see her. I want to see if I can get anything from these shelves down here. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's up here, so that means we can run down here. Various different vials and bottles all seem grimy and useless. Okay, so there's nothing in here. And I'm pretty sure the basement is basically empty. Alright, there's the bookshelf here. Rusty's Peas of the 15th Century, Volume 1. Nice. Contains recipes for meat and vegetable pies. Collection remembers infamous Chef Andres that worked at Royal Kitchen Road on at the time. Apparently, he's infamous because he used to court his ladies and even remember having a feeling of the Princess Elizabeth, the famous virgin princess. Now that you look at it, the book seems to be more about royal gossip than food recipes. But we find it recipes for meat pie and vegetable pie. So now if we go here, we actually get crafting recipes. We can make... make this, yeah, this is a meat pie and this is a vegetable pie. I won't make anything now, but it's definitely good to... Then mind it, we can make some more of this. Oh, speaking of which, meat pie right there. 
yeah, I do remember one change you're going to be making in 2.0 is that you actually have to go to a stove to cook recipes in that game. Although there's, although Pe Henrik will have a skill which actually lets you uh, cook without having to go to a stove, which, you know, makes getting the skills he gives a little more, more tempting. Ooh, chalk. I don't have any skin Bibles though, so I can't draw any sigils. An herb, which I think is for some crafting recipes if we get the uh, medical books. Okay, given that I'm horribly beaten up and I think wanna oh, I think I do wanna take take a rest now. I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna try and beat the game in like a single day. I just wanna be able to beat it in general. We will take a rest here. Yeah, because basically I think there's like three sections to a day and three days in total, so and every time we rest we advance the time a bit. I think we do want to rest here for a bit for now. Yeah, looks dirty and smells bad, but we need the rest. You know, after getting beaten up by a woodsman and all that. Welcome back. I take it you're now acquainted with most of your fellow contestants. Not as much as the first time, but yes I am. About the pace, the vessel won't last forever. So what's going on? Since the 14 of you are such late additions to the party, your days are already running short. The festival will see its climax in just three days. That is long, long you have time. Use it wisely. Time to do what? You cut, scheme, and revel in the blade remains of your rival contestants. This is a simple festival at score. Do you mean I have to kill other contestants? What you do and what you don't is entirely up to you, of course. You want to kill your fellow contestants? But enough about that. But yeah, now, but yeah, basically the main goal of the game is to he puts us out to kill all the other contestants and then go to the tower. But but there is a but that's for two or three endings. But we're gonna save here. But also, let me actually finally show you how to actually gain skills in the game. So this thing here is called the hex, and basically it's a Sort of a skill tree for the game. There are two sides, but there's this side here, which is basically for the various characters in the game. And, but up here is the gods, so you might remember that I, in the intro I chose an affinity for rare. So as you can see, we have one circle here. This means that if I had soul stones, which I don't have any of them, I could reveal aura. Which, which if I remember correctly, basically lets you see where the other contestants are once they... Uh, the, Go going to light spoilers, experience fate worse than death, but we can't actually get it because we don't have a soul stone. There are ways to get a soul stone, mostly from gathering the heads of villagers and sacrificing them, but we can't do that right now. But other, we can also gain like a boost to our maximum mind, learn how to read minds, and golden gates, which I think is a bit of a fast travel to certain locations. Over here we have Almer with blood sword, which I think is a cool weapon, a boost to our defense, and the inverse crown thorns. Remember the old crown of thorns they made Jesus wear? Well, this is like the inverse of that, and it lets you wear it. I'm not going to spoil what, hap what that spell does specifically. This is the God of Fear and Hunger. We can learn how to make enemies rot. And a Master of Vermin, which I think lets us... Oh no, I think it lets us do some stuff with rats. This lets us like, summon a bunch of rats to summon our enemies. This lets us move faster. If we get enough agility, we actually can go twice in a single turn. Or like we get two turns in a row. The spell basically lets us use like arms and legs to attack enemies, which is pretty cool. And this is Sylvana. Look at her symbol. I think you can tell that she's the god of fertility and love and all that. I forget what pheromones does, but there's magic defense. Well, some healing spells. I forget what heart flower does. This is the uh, nature god, who I think is the child of Gorgroth and Sylvana. Bruce I think is a multi attack. There, I don't know some of these spells exactly, but I think Photosynthesis heals you while you're outside in the sun. Armancy Trick, which lets you light enemies on fire. Combustion, to light enemies on fire. Spontaneous Combustion, which does some more lightings for. 
Scorch Earth, I know boss uses, and it basically just like lights the entire area on fire and makes your attack, fire attack stronger. Here you have Necromancy for raising the dead. Hurting, which is, as well as having a very funny attack, is basically just like a bolt of negative energy. Black Smog blinds enemies. Make a golem out of your blood. Nice multi hit attack. And down here, we actually have the abilities that the characters learn, so. This is Levi here. As you can see, we've got his three gun skills. Gunslinger, which lets us shoot off limbs with a pistol. Marksmanship lets us occasionally just kill enemies with a rifle. And Executioner, which is bugged. Basically, if it lets you stun an enemy, you can then shoot him again to kill them. I'm not exactly sure what gun proficiency does exactly, but... Let's see, also got the other skills here, like... A wrench toss, short arc circuit, and some weapon crafting skills. You might know who some of these squins are. Persuade, lockpicking, and some talking skills. Let me get this one. War Cry, Bloodlust, Devour, and Sisu. Definitely some interesting skills from a more less civilized time. Some skills for punching and stuff. These are just like some very basic stat boosts. We got Bury the Trauma on Guard and Order Charge. And some, we got some Sigils and Occultism. This is some, this is some very medicinal stuff, including Magna Medical, which I think basically lets you sacrifice a, a limb to actually be able to uh, revive the dead. I mean, there's a different thing. We got some Meditation Spice Forge. Slow Metabolism, mainly professionally Master Chef. Alright, this is the, uh, this is Olivia's Seals, might have guessed. You can learn how to steal, intimidate, explosive, and killing intent. And last over here, we got Blood Sacrifice and, uh, 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 like I said, everyone has their own set of skills. But for real though, that skills basically let you uh, raise your finny with Golgroth and Sylvana, but if you find their sigils, you can give a bit of a sacrifice or a bit of a show of love to them. But yep, now we're fully... Oh, we aren't fully healed, actually. I thought it would heal us. Well, again, I guess it's just a save point, basically, not actually a healing thing. But still, I mean, we did save our progress at least, so we can go back here if we need if need be. Yeah, unfortunately, we are very low on healing supplies. We only got like a few blue herbs, which really aren't that much. But yeah, as you can see, the day has advanced a bit now. Now I think we're like evening-ish. And a few things might have changed around the town, but... We'll have to find them for ourselves. Oh! How many bullets do we have again? Only four of them? Hmm. Let's see if we can wait for that guy to move a bit. Hmm. Okay, there he goes. He's. Oh. We may just have to juke him at least. Juke. Okay, let's go check out to the left here in the woods a bit. Hopefully, we won't have those dogs around this time. Oh. Juke. Oh, uh oh. Bad dog, bad dog. Okay, good. Reach to like the point where they can't go any further. Oh, what's this old rusty hatch? Smell rot strikes meat upon opening it. Hang on, I see mushroom. Okay, let's go looking down here. Animals reek of death. Ew. Big barrels. No power in the panel. Don't really know what it's used for anyway. 
old newspaper articles about war. Spare parts. Mm. Alright, I think we can move some of these crates around, which might be good for reasons. Oh, okay, this door is locked. You know, if I if I knew I could actually reach this place by juking those dogs, I might have tried to come here earlier for... I'm not going to spoil too much about why. Ooh, lantern. Shock, nice. Saw blade. I think I'm going to throw that to bleeding if, if we're lucky. Ooh, they got lots of shock down here. Gasoline canister. Got some more crates down here. Oh, what's this? Smells neutral. No idea what the liquid is based on that. I mean, it looks like an old bunker of some kind, probably left by the pre by the Bremens from the war. Ooh, great. Come on. Ah, uh, nothing. Yeah, they usually have good loot if you hit, hit the, the coin flip. Ooh, gunpowder, that might- that would've been nice. Bolts. Gasoline canister. I know basically if you use that in battle, like, set it down and then you can hit it to have it blow up and hit all the enemies. Which is definitely nice you can set it up. Anything else down here? Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Hmm. What's this? A lucky coin. Nice, you can use that for coin flips if you need to. Empty lockers. Girl was used as a trash can. That one's stuck. Money. Money. Stuck. 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 Okay. Guess all these are stuck. Yeah, who was that bashing? Who was that bashing around a little while ago? Ah, another empty chest, damn it. Chillings. I guess these are all gonna be stuck. Okay, yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Origin okay on hunger, it looks like. Oh. Emergency backup generator. Seems like it's been used recently, but now it's out of gasoline. Well, we got some gasoline we can fix in with it. Okay, I guess these gasoline canisters are supposed to be used to refuel it. Oh, nice, we can just unlock the door. That's good. Oh, that thing again. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh. Yeah, it looks like there's an electric lock and we don't know what to do with it, though. Maybe there's something over here we could check out. Like an elevator or something? I thought there was something over here I could get. Hmm. We did hear something banging around. Oh. Yeah, we should get some food. We're actually at the point where it's affecting our stats, so. I hope we got ourselves a meat pie. There we go. That's good for hunger. Ooh, that's soaring. Half is too tight. Creature seems to pursue some structure beams get here. The creature? Oh, maintenance self here. Seems to be powered up now. 
Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's get out of here and see what else is here. Maybe far away from whatever that creature you're talking about is. Oh, uh, it's that girl from the beginning. Interesting. Oh, Jesus! What the hell was that? Oh my god. What is that thing? It's after us. Okay, nothing. Of course, nothing in the bookshelf, of course. Handle. Oh. Let's circle to rare here. Tunnel 7, level 2, uh... What the hell is this place? You have no idea what you're looking at. I don't either. Uh, what the hell is that thing up there? I do know, but... Still, I mean, in terms of appearance, what the hell is it? Okay, doesn't seem to be interesting to this now, but... Oh. Yeah, this is an interesting place. But yeah, if you want to remember that, if you use rare symbols in certain locations, basically go into some sort of other world like this. Oh. Which is, you know, very creepy place. Oh nice, just a bag of wheat flour and whatever this weird lo eldritch location is. Rika. Oh. Oh, oh, if there was something down there, whatever that monster was. I do want to take a look. Tomato, multi bread. Mysterious ornament door means shut. Yeah, I think that's what the Golden Gate spell is for. If you have that thing, ability, you can open, you can go through that gate, and there are other gates you can go through as well. Uh, nothing in this chest. Damn it. I mean, the ring we got is still nice, but. Yeah, let's so maybe we work back that thing will be gone. I'm just very happy that whatever those things aren't moving. As you know, they're pretty nasty combatants, especially when you're when you're someone who's been suffering from an addiction. How is it like bullets? Who in the arm of the creature? Yeah, get back. Get back. Okay, gonna have to charge in. You can spin up a creature's trunk as it attacks. This is Chaukanar. Okay, aim for the body. Levi feels intense pressure in his head. It feels like it's bursting from pain. Come on, we got. Shut up. the full out. We should be able to kill it. Ooh. Levi's head exploded from the pressure. Yeah. So I actually do want to say there is a little. It's turned out if we did go here earlier before we took a nap, we would have been able to skip that. So, I'm going to do is actually start from the beginning with Levi. I mean, again, we're going to have to go through a bit of stuff, but it'll be much easier to be actually get through there. 
Luckily, we can skip the character history since we already had that. And you no know, one to try and get the Kasara this time again. Again, it is just a, like a good early on weapon. And yeah, remember that girl? That was the girl we saw in, down there for a brief moment running off before we that monster attack before Chaugnar attacked us. Ooh, a small key. That might help out later on for a few different doors. Bear trap. I know at least one area that can be useful or later on. Lucky coin. Definitely helpful if we need to do coin flip. So not bad loot starting out. Hi hey, Janitor, yep, I know, get working. Yep, okay. I don't think we actually have to make cubes that just after a bit then the girl just tells us to get going. Okay, I think I do actually have to make four cubes and then she likes tells us to get going. Oh well. And yeah, actually I'm gonna keep the pistol just in case, you know, the the arm it shows wasn't actually the arm the weapon arm. I mean, I feel like maybe the stump arm doesn't count as like an arm, maybe? And like maybe a leg or something? I don't know. Because it never seems like it chooses that arm when I shoot him and it wounds an arm, but... I mean, I, I do appreciate that it always goes for the Kasara arm as opposed to the... Oh, not with the Kasara. Yeah, I should be appreciate the fact I always go for the arm where he's holding his Kasara and as opposed to, you know, the stump arm. You know, the arm, arm that just does a little bit of damage as opposed to damage and potentially delimiting someone. Remember that talk about the new gods? See, some of the gods the gods was talking about in, in that book, Ages of Man book are actually here. I think the one with the gold mask is Francois, if I remember correctly, but okay, you do have to walk a bit in order to like trigger the cutscene. There we go. Again, I'm not like a master on the lore, but because I never did play the first game, I just know a bit about it. But, and watch, you know, videos of some of it, but you know, I know a bit of that. Hi, Berkeley. Anyway, I think in the, ter in the name of uh, Berkeley is like a basically their word version of Dam or something. I don't know exactly. I don't know enough of Finnish off the top of my head. Right, so the plan this time is to avoid the Woodsman for now, then go around in the village, grab a bit of stuff, and then try and head for the bunker. Because we do want to kind of avoid combat when necessary, because we don't have an infinite supply of heroin on us. Oh, I accidentally cho chose to go through the conversation, so we're going to have to smash through it, but that's fine. Don't mind me, just gonna grab a bit of water quickly. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, let's just grab a bit of a snack. Got like some grapes and oyster crackers here. You know, a bit of mixed sweet and salty. 
I say in a totally non-sexual way, just but in a and actually just tastes good, you know? Way. But you know, I didn't want to eat them on camera since it's you know. People tend not to like that sort of noisiness. All right, if we're lucky, we might get some good equipment this time early on. So I know we did get some good, good bit of loot, loot a few times before, but of course we kind of lost it all because whether it be because we got killed or because I kind of want to just be, go back a bit earlier to before we got or advanced the time and made things a bit harder for us. Also, smashes can be used to, I think, light up candles in certain locations, which makes them brighter and doesn't hurt your mind stat as much, because that is definitely a thing in the game where being in the darkness can hurt your sanity if you're in it too much. Alright, let's grab the green herb from over here. And get moving in order to the woodsman's house. Hey, Tanaka. Alright, was there something down here? No. Not over here, at least not for us, at least. If you're late playing Olivia, though, it'd be useful, but not for us. Okay, I want to save up some run energy for when we have to run by him later on. Flower, flower. That'd be good if we get the meat pie book again. Meat pie, speaking of. Last shards, some medicine. More glass shards. I do gotta remember to use some of those because those can be good for blinding enemies. Well, oh, remember how earlier I mentioned how one of the instant death to think cutscenes is like some monster crushing your head? Yeah, that was Chauknar, I meant. If we had kept its armed as well as beating us up, we could do like a coin flip attack to just like grab us by the head and crush it like a watermelon. Or you know, just like a like a not like a watermelon, something else. Fire with an eerily familiar face. Have you seen this man in dreams? Over the past week or so, since the full moon, people all over Preville and its neighboring settlements see this face in their dreams every night. If you're one of them, we have any information that can help us identify this person, please contact us. There's no contact information in the flyer, though. And yes, that is actually based on the meme. I find it kind of hilarious that I actually learned about the meme from this first than from the actual meme itself. And that, and that, and that you know, the meme actually fits in, in universe of people seeing a weird guy in their dreams. Old coffee cup. Okay, let's just, I think we've got enough friend energy for this. Now let's go. Maybe, maybe another time, Woodsman. I'm not really in the mood for fighting right now. Okay, so I definitely want to check the two-story house. And then we'll head off to the left. Into the forest. Try and juke the dogs. Or wolves. The headless guys. Last file. I think that's for crafting. Grabbing dirty toilet paper just because it's an item I can grab. Rifle ammo, more rifle ammo, light blue vial. Free carrot, nice. Ah dang, thought I could juke the guy. Oh, I meant to go for scythe, whoops. Or sickle. Okay, that was a lucky dodge. I actually just noticed that I don't have uh, any, uh, you know, any diction right now, so I'm actually fighting at my full cap right now. Okay, let's go for the left leg since that's just one hit away. Okay, punch isn't great, but now the villager lost his balance. He's got the exclamation point there, that means he can just go right for the head. And it's not going to have the high dodge ability it normally has. Oh, nice, got, stole his sickle. Yeah, I forgot there's like a variation of male village that goes with the sickle instead of a, uh, hit the pipe. Uh, 
Okay, first let's check upstairs since I know this area has some stuff. Oh, right, including the chest. Come on. Uh, oh well. I mean, the still blithering would have been good, but I think in terms of the best equipment, there's a salmon snake room, which is an odds of creature from the f uh, sort of mini boss from the first game you could fight. And right, this area is empty, so once the woman is done there, you can go look around here. Not only does it prevent ble bleeding, but also just prevents you from losing uh, your limbs in general. Which in a game like this is very good. Alright, so now we can just go down here, loot this area. Alright, but we can. The last frontier, chapter one, what's this? Brief history of the Dark Continent, Finland, also known as America. The legends report in the year 1009, a group of explorers from Old Guard first made contact with the island region of Finland. This is the first written record of the continent. The next confirmed case dates back to year 1310 when a small fleet of Abyssonia ventured the dark waters from the west. I think Abyssonia is like of uh, Africa, I think. I probably know more if I was playing Osha, Osa because it would have a story. However, it taken another 200 years before an established trade out for, be formed again by Seafarer's Older Guard in the year 1577. It's during this cape that the continent was named Vinland, transport landing to Wineland, supposedly because of the amount of wine required to wipe the memories clean of the land and the horrors it contained. Oh, that's a little scary. Despite the existence of the continent becoming more common knowledge among the scholars of the Western world, ventures said to land were very rare. In 1650, a scholar from Vatican City wrote the following description of the land. The soil consists of minerals that seem to reject sunlight and warmth altogether, resulting in the ground to look a contagious, colorless black mass where it's hard to measure depth at each shown the basin with a naked eye. And the few plants that managed to grow in this hostile ground end up taking the very same features as the landscape merged together as far as the eye can see. Just endless darkness. If you're lucky, the clouds might shift a little and you can literally at least tell where the land ends and where the gloomy sky begins. The land is cursed. The land is morbid and dark. Each settler comes back with vivid stories of very personal nightmares they went through during their stay in Finland. Discovery this continent is the biggest mistake that mankind has ever made. Damn, it just tell us you hate America, buddy. Jeez. But yeah, America in this world is a very cursed place, apparently. Okay, let's grab a couple things here I think we can sneak out. Good. And we still don't have the, uh... Fiction yet. That's weird. But hey, I'm not arguing, right? If we're... We're staying strong right now. I feel like maybe something may have gone wrong in character creation, like I didn't get the addiction, but I got the skill. That's weird. Oh. Okay, got some meat, so let's try and give it some. Okay, I think this basically gives us a free turn to hit it. Good. Oh. I don't think I need more rotten meat, so we're just gonna have to outrun this one. Luckily, we move at about the same pace. Okay, good. I get two left. Okay. Yeah, maybe something went wrong and I didn't get the addiction. I mean, I feel a little guilty for playing without it, but. Maybe I could do a poll in the Discord later on and ask if I should, like, re-roll so he gets the addiction or just keep him as he is now with... He still has the Gunslinger perk, so he's got the positive flip from it, which is weird, but... Hmm. Hey, let's go inside here now. Oh. It's you. You're in the train too, right? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? The train engine is busted. I'm looking for spare parts. So the armor check figure might be something worth checking out. Turns out I was right. How about we hop and see what's under there? I'd be at least a little bit curious. Oh uh, yeah, let's check it out. That's spirit. This place is incredible. I heard the Eastern Union had a big underground network strong pretty although I wasn't expecting this. Pretty sure something like that. Oh, yeah, it's on newspaper a while back. It's close to my little work, so I'll keeping out articles like that. 
Oh, sh we haven't even used ourselves yet, haven't we? I'm Abella. Nice to meet you. You don't get to say where, but I'll shuffle you for a while now. Oh, you're more than welcome. Yeah, now we actually have a second party member now. I'm not sure what Nosophobia is off the top of my head. There's a thing of that, but... She has the ability to open locked doors. And she can chuck a pipe wrench at enemies to possibly stun them if she has her pipe wrench equipped. Which she does. Just got some sturdy overalls, which are... A little bit of slash and pierce, decent fire protection. Nice. But yeah, definitely nice to have a second party member, you know. Turn economy and someone's babysit Levi when his heroin addiction kicks in. Hasn't yet, but I'm imagining it will. And again, I may or may not have accidentally messed things up so I don't get the addiction, but... Again, I'll run a poll in the Discord if that's the case. Oh, bone saw, hell yeah. But yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, here's the link. I'll probably look, do a poll after the stream just to see if people want me to go with the heroin addiction, not like, you know, re-roll the game and play up this point. Ooh, two bone saws, nice. There is a use for the bone saws that we'll figure out in a bit, but for now, just know that they're going to be very important for us. Glass shards. Those blocks you can push. Okay, yeah. Gonna have to go around that door, I guess. Ooh, sewer winch? Yeah, was that what that was? Let me see. Okay, so you should open the sewer lids in pre -fill. Okay, I'll probably be useful later. Ooh, cram ration. Just like in your army has. There's one gas canister. What else we got down these dark tunnels? All right, we're just back here, okay. You don't hear that banging noise this time. So that's at least a plus. We're not dealing with whatever that thing was. I mean, I do know what causes it to show up, but What's that? A formal hat. The sweat seen circling inside of the hat. Hmm. What's that noise? Oh! Oh god! Tanaka, no! Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez, he's after us. And yet, yeah, yeah, slight spoiler, but Tanaka does have a tendency to die quite a few ways early on. Needles came waltzing in to greet you. And he stole Tanaka's hat. Come on, man. That's rude. Oh, yeah, I think you can actually you can kill him if you shoot him enough, but... Yeah, this guy ha can also show up here. Okay. Oh, first done. I'll try and shoot his, ar his arm off with that thing. Ooh, that hurts. And bleeding. Meals raise a syringe. Uh -oh. oh. Yeah, I think there's. Okay. Oh, can I actually see there? I'm bleeding. I got an inf leg infection. And I think I got. Whatever that one is. Paralysis. Oh, it's torso stunt, so. Briggs arm, Bella. Oh, right. She actually has to re equip her, th her thing every time she uses that. That is the downside to the pipe wrench toss. I keep saying he raised the syringe, but he never does use it. I think that's because it's supposed to only go after Levi, but since he's already got it, it doesn't really work. Get him! There we go. Oh shit! Tom's got a gun! I think one of the characters actually describes this in mine, but... But, frankly, Tom fits him better, I feel. Oh. 
And yeah, I should mention that if your main character dies, then that means game over in ge general. Uh, remember how I said that not every character dies when you die? That not every death is game over? Well, this is the one. I have chained in, in sewers now. No way out of here. And, uh... Um... Uh, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, again, maybe death would have been preferable. Also, we don't have a Bella with us anymore, which is also bad. Like I said, I have the AO rank here, thing here for a reason. And you just saw one of those reasons. What's in here? That's your projector. German gas mask. Cool. Oh, it's an accessory, apparently. Okay, gives us a bit of resistance to this stuff. I think that should be a hidden helmet, but hey. What's on the wall? Anything interesting? Yeah, it's also one of the issues with uh, Levi's that some of these guys can't really be... Oh, okay, I guess that's where the ghost is or whatever that thing was, or needles. Is that, of course, some enemies don't actually care about, you know, getting shot. I think you can kill them if you just shoot them enough, but... I don't know exactly. Nice bone saw. Oh, this isn't where we were. Where are we? All oh, right, the old town. Uh, you okay? Burns. Burns cold. Moon scorches land. Scorched us too. Oh. And yeah, someone just put some bear traps here. Don't step on them. Yes, it's past where that gunman was, but... So apparently, what's... Old Needles took us over here. Big crate. I really open without better tools. Or can't, I guess it means. This person's buried alive. You can only hear the death rattle coming from him. Now, uh, sure, we'll just make it quick. He's dead now. Also, since we have a bone saw. <laughs> he took the moon scorched head as a trophy. I mean, kind of a morbid way to describe it, but. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, again, not going great for Levi, even if he is doing fine, doesn't have his diction yet again. Oh. Okay, and this is where Karen shows up after her walk. Okay, but real talk quick, so I'm guessing that something went wrong, so I'm not getting the addiction, so we're going to start from the beginning again. Because, you know, I want to actually make sure we actually experience Levi highs and low, so... Okay, let, maybe if we just do the intro, normally we'll actually get the addiction. Because it did save the character history, but we're not starting with it. So let's let's just go through it for the first thing, so... Pray to Rare. Of course, it doesn't help us from our abusive dad. Learn how to shoot pistols. Take our mission and get horrible war traumas. Get some bullets. There we go. And no, we're gonna do the intro since I want the Kasara.
Yeah, not much progress this episode, I gotta say, but, you know, this is a tough game. Hopefully, we'll make some more next time. Although, you know, we still have, like, 80 minutes left in the game, if I'm get looking correctly, so... Maybe we could get something this time around. Just, you know, gotta avoid things like, uh... Getting butchered by woodsmen, getting... Having needles do horrible things to us, you know. It's just something weird that you don't have a really purple nose. I mean, it definitely does seem like you sort of mishmash together a bit, but... Alright, let's make those boxes and get out of here. Let's get out of here, strange girl. Oh, okay, that's actually just up there. I wasn't sure why she wasn't... Here we go. Equip the gun. Oh, oh, there he is. And I'm just gonna shoot this guy down. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting the addiction. I'm gonna just gonna make everything suck, but you know, I'm playing by the rules of the challenge we got, so that's what I'm doing. Well, more of the will of the uh, of my Discord viewers. We're still, so you know, we're gonna go with this addiction with our kills, kills me or not. Hello, Procle. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's mash him through. Mash him like potatoes. Okay, now let's get out of the train for, what, the eighth time, I think? Like, I'll have to do death count after this, just to figure out how many times I've died. Right, this is the second one I gotta go into. There we go, now we don't have to mash through their whole discussion. Just a bit of chatter. Just a bit of chatter, not all of it. Yeah, I imagine we would have gotten that gate open already if you had gone with someone like Marco, but... but you know, I'm going with what Discord wants. They wanted a challenge and I'm giving it to them. It's still it's a fun game so far. Again, it is definitely one of the harder games I've played, but we're making it work. Right now, up here, grab the green herb up here, and we're gonna go to the Woodsman's house. Again, I kind of want to avoid wait fighting Woodsman for now. Oh, hey, Tanaka. I got bad news for you, because if, if we're going the way I'm go playing on going, you're probably going to die again. Because, yeah, there is a way to help to not avoid getting killed by some guys early on, but it requires, like, a specific route, and the route I'm going is probably not it. What we've got in here? Just mostly food. Last shards. I 
More glass shards. What do you got from the bookshelf this time? Pocket cap book? Nah. And by the way, if you try and sleep in Woodsman's bed while he's around, you will just get into a fight with him instead, because, you know. Probably not a good idea to sleep in a guy's bed while he's still alive and walking around outside with a big ol' axe. Oh, okay, run, run, run. Yeah, we definitely are going to try and want to get more kills eventually, but right now is not the time. Ooh, blue vine. I think that's some decent bit of healing. So at least we got that. Ooh, bayonet. How much is that in terms of damage? Okay, rifle with a knife attachment. You can switch closer to combat easily with one, this one. Okay, so I guess this is a rifle, but I can actually sh stab people with it in, in battle as well. Interesting. Oh. Don't get too close to vial. Stay back, ma'am. Ma'am, I said stay back. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. The atmosphere is getting heavier and heavier. Oh. Yeah, let's just hide in the basement for a bit. All down here is heavy, moist, and murky. Oh, jeez, entire mob. Ooh, we got very lucky on those knife swings. Let's take out the arm. Trap. Ah, come on, die already. Jeez, dude. Holy crap. Oh, this guy's just like regular Vidger. How's he so got so much health? Man, just great. Okay, got the meat pipe book. I think I gotta read it. Oh no, I already know it. Okay. Nothing in the chest that would have made that fight worth it. I don't think it was being ominous saying that it feels like there's something down there, but I didn't think it'd be like all this stuff. How many rifle bullets do I have actually? None, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot this guy down. I I am very weak right now. Oh I found a severed arm and leg on the guy. Nice. Ooh, cult Grimoires. Let's see. Base of Cult Magic. Information about the Virtual Circles. Okay. Ones in the Longest Stall. Prepared. Basic Knowledge the Most Important. Steady Foundations. More to build Tower of the Gods. Circle must be colored first. Top to bottom, the first asymmetric circle, which is their outer gods. And one side, distribution power. 
sexy perfect circle. If the new gods would strive for perfection, yet never train it. And last one's perfection circle, which the spring cyclones that the birth the extended ones. Once you're able to go beyond human limits, beyond the sign seals not meant for the founding circles. Can't change them, but they can change you. Okay. And yeah, I'll take you, I'm sure. But yeah, this is the thing I was talking about, which you have to use to, to help you level up, basically. Unfortunately, we wound up in a real bad state. Jonesing for heroin and with, like, no health in it. Next to no health. What do we have for healing anyway? One blue vial. So we've got some healing at least, but not much. Ooh, another Kassara. I mean... That would be good if we found friends, but we don't have any right now. <laughs> right, I was just checking to make sure we weren't didn't have any stats we're missing. Hmm. I'm gonna go here later. There is some stuff inside that I want to kind of. I'd be better off not dealing with right now. Ooh, some leftovers, yum, rotten meat. Yeah, still only one heroin though. We really need to get more if we wanna make our guy not suck at everything. Are those guys who are down here? I thought there was one more guy down here. I mean, I see a body, but that's it. Where are they? Yeah, we're gonna try and take every heavy come across because uh, we definitely gotta get a lot of them. Okay, good, we took out our arms, so that's good. Now go for the torso. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally, we got dead in one hit. I don't know why the pipe guy took so many freaking hits. Jeez. Oh, nice lucky coin. Ooh, leather armor. How's that look compared to our jumpsuit? Okay, that's better slash and pierce. Some blunt. Worse fire, but overall I think it's better. If I remember correctly, the uh, thing on the side that shows the uh, the defense stat itself doesn't really affect your armor that much. So I'd say this is a bit of an upgrade. Okay, now we can sacrifice them. Into and rise so full blood, unbearable existence, suffering, agony. We play the secret song that echoes from within. Some does like razors through flesh. Can you hear it? Yes, you can hear my voice after all. You who come with the offering, skin thou shall receive. Look for through the regions. Farewell. 
Yeah, by sacrificing those, you got these things. Let me... S Soul Stone Shards. Shard of Large Gemstone. Kill Magnetic Pulse from the Shard. Maybe if you had more of these. Oh, we actually have enough, actually. Here's the Soul Stone. Basically, we can use these to actually upgrade our, stat our abilities at the, uh, at the Hexen, which is that thing we saw when we rested a while back. Unfortunately, getting to the most Hexen most of the time requires us to actually have to spend time sleeping, which I can't really afford to do right now. Okay, looks like we actually have to go through the uh, house to get to the other side here. Good to know. Now let's see how folks are over here. Have they calmed down yet? Oh, nope. Vile's still here. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to get by him unless he's hit first, so we're going to have to get high. That's the good shit. Injection me leave I numb from all the pain and horror. Now I actually got a bit of a stat buff from that actually, because we're I forget the exact oh, I shoot. I was gonna try and shoot first, but Okay, I'm gonna have to try and talk first. <sighs> try talking mask man, this words are muffled by the gas mask. What was that? Trying to answer, but you cannot make any sense of the words because of the mask. What was that? <laughs> trying to answer, but you cannot make any sense of words because of the mask. What was that? Bala is losing cool because of your lack of understanding. Firstly, he lists his mask. The mask seems to have melted on his face, partially, but underneath, you can see a row of sharp teeth grimacing at you. Only the vile. <laughs> That's the size leaking from the canister constantly. About to take a good breather of his own pest out house mask on. <laughs> He's coughing blood. Levi's victorious. Yeah, you can't actually manage to talk him to death if you're lucky. If you don't, he just attacks you from there, but that's why I went for the, the lucky coin. What has he got? Moldy bread. And I'll take your head. Hey, that rhymes. Hey. Nothing from inside the coffin. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's nothing in there. And right, can't open it here yet. Oh, we can use a small key here. Let me see, what do I got? Only six shillings. I think we'll leave it for now. Let me check here. Fish hang from a drying rope coat in a yellow substance. Not sure why you'd spray him down with pesticide. I feel like that ruined the fish, but... You know, these guys are kind of insane, so I'm not going to ask too many questions. Alright, we already checked these. Now, there was a woman here I wanted to try and juke by. She's still here, I don't see her. Alright, good, we can just head in here then. Let's try and loot what we can. More glass shards. What do we got up here? But yeah, I had to use the heroin here because if I didn't, he would get to attack first before I could talk to him, and, and that would probably have killed me. Or at the very least, left me at death's door, which, you know, not very good. Wait, file. Multi bread. Some black matter. Okay, yeah, there's a woman down here, but not the one I was thinking about earlier. Carrot and egg. And yeah, I'm now starting to feel the Jones in again already. I think it's depending on how many screen transitions you do that you start to get the addiction back, but... Yeah, again, that's kind of why Levi is such a tough character, because you really got to manage when you use your heroin. The Man in Dreams Flyer. Actually, do I have any, uh... Okay, no, nothing really useful on me.
Which is a key oil. Oop. Yeah, I think that guy might be easier than the pipe guy because he's using the sickle. I'm not sure if the sickle can cut your limbs off. Don't want to risk it though, of course. Okay, now we're going to have to chew these wolves. He only got four bolts left. I already used up a bunch of them. Oh, the second one didn't show up. Shoot. Okay. Okay, we. One thing is that we have to go around it to. Oh, geez, forgot about the woodsman. Okay, now that one's there, I might be able to go around and juke, juke the second one. I think the first one's going to stay down there, I think, next time we visit the map. Yeah, definitely a fun, challenging game so far. Just again, I did get kind of handed one of the tougher starts to begin with, but... We're going to try and make it work. Okay. Yeah, I can hear that first one down there. Oh. oh there's only one this time? That's weird. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Alright, let's head down here. Hey, Bella, don't mind me a dog running around. Or whatever that thing is. Oh, yeah, let's check out this bunker. I mean, yes, there's a killer mimer clown in here, but, you know... Okay, yeah, I don't really have any other weapons I can give her. Scar is a bit better, but I'm going for the right pipe wrench because, you know, I can... I can't use the pipe throw if I need to get an extra turn for Levi. Let's try and find some good stuff down here. Ooh, Death Mask. Grail Mask uses an Obohemia. Designed so the Death Gurgle swears sounds more like laughter or joy. Has otherworldly properties. Who gives a big boost of magic attack? Yeah, I'll just slap that on Levi, you know. Just go walking around in a death mask. Yeah, that'll be useful if we get, get some magic for him. Bone saw, nice. It'll be nice once we get more kills and loot some more people. I do just want to avoid the part with needles for now, because he is still a pretty tough foe early on. And you saw how he took up my party, just the two of us up right now. Ooh, spare pipe wrench, flash shards. A sewer winch for later on. Okay, yeah, the room to the right is where he and Tanaka are. Actually... Hmm. I do have two bear traps. Yeah, sorry, Tanaka. Maybe another playthrough I'll be able to actually let you live, but... Oh. Okay, now all he's trapped. Okay, just temporarily stunts him in place for a bit. Shoot. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, let's just lock them in here for now, you know. Okay, Bella, we agreed to never open the door with a clear to crawl on it and again, okay? And fortunately, we did use up all my ammo because I thought I could either get a gunshot, get an arm off, or, you know, kill him. So, yeah, we're just not going to open the room with a creepy clown, okay? That's something like a good agreement to everyone. Okay, there we go. Got electricity going. Yeah, he's just gonna kind of awkwardly watch us as we go around here. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. I had to... I had to op get the electricity going so before we could go open the lock. Yeah, what's down here? I think lots of the machinery stuff would be useful if we were actually playing as a Bella, but since we're not, we can't really use it. Hey, more chests. This could be useful. Eagle How, which is, you know, one of those spiked helmets. Slash piercing blunt. Okay, cool. We'll get that to you, Bella. Off fragment rice. Nice. That stops bleeding. Oh, oh, that's a mop. Oh, okay. We must be near the sewers, it looks like. I'm seeing some sewer grates here. Another gasoline canister. Nice. Spare parts. Yeah, hey, look at this place. Seems a little nicer. Less, you know. Hang on, how many keys do I have? Three of them. Yeah, the smell fills his feces is almost too overwhelming. Yeah, it doesn't exactly sm Yeah, sewers aren't exactly a nice place at the best of times. And wasn't there a chest here? Oh, right, it's just a crate. With some duct tape. Oh, wait, Bill got an infection? Shoot. Uh... Okay, I guess she must have gotten it from the, uh, from needles whipping her. Okay. Well, good thing I noticed it, because if it gets too bad, they just die outright. See, so, yeah, a good thing I caught in time. Ooh, what do we got? Ah, uh, nothing. What's that? What's up there? Uh oh, creepy old lady. An old rusty barrel it reeks as bad as everything else in this cesspool. Yeah, in this place, everything smells bad. Ooh, money, more money. Let's get you some food. How about... What mushroom stew? Yeah, I'm stopping for a second until I heard something. Ooh, these are good. Let's see. Okay, Berman chest plates. Got some real good resistance on it, except for fire, but... That's cool, and in armed guards, you might have guessed they, they protect against arm loss. And also, you know, they could give a bit of defense in general, which is going to be good. It's up here. Oh, Central Prayville. 
City for early choir left. Only lifeless husk wandered streets. Oop. Speaking of lifeless husk, I think I just saw one over to the upper right as we were lo looking around here. Okay, these barrels are just empty barricades. Locked crates. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, let's head down. I don't. It, yeah, even the cops are after us in this world. Yeah, I just stop if I heard something. I'm half expecting something to jump, pop out, and jump scare us from one of these things. Oh, what the hell is that thing down there? A smile, toilet paper. The sewage treatment plant, lovely. Okay, I think this place is just like a puzzle area so far, so. Let's read the instructions. 50% to not cause clogs. And you can only disable 50% of each side. Okay, so like these switches show each one. I guess I can only turn off one at a time. Let's take a look and see what we can get from here. Okay. Oh, there's a door there, so we can get that one right now. Back rooms of the sewers. It's water too dripping down the walls everywhere you look. Mm. Oh, another door. Okay, I guess gotta go through these back rooms, like get figure out what's through here. Wait, didn't I just come out here? Or? Let me look around a bit more. I can't actually mess with the valve, it looks like. Let's look around a bit. Okay, do you want to get to that ladder, but I think I have to... Okay, I can go up this way and up to the ladder. And then we can lower it and switch around the water a bit. Okay, good. Okay, can't actually block off the water that way. I was, wasn't sure if that was a thing you could do. Now I can flip this water switch instead and go up here. Now we've got the ladder down. There we go. And what's over this way? Over in the western tunnels. But yeah, we're definitely getting a bit far away from that bunker we were supposed to be exploring, but I do want to look around here a bit first. You know, maybe we can find some stuff we can use in the equipment. Oh, oh old lady. This dead end. In fact, we at least that one party member sort of babysit us and our crippling heroin addiction is good at least. You know, someone who can go first in battle and, uh... Okay, maybe we'll have to head this way later. But 
like, you know, at least you got this puzzle completed so we can get into the, this further area later on. Speaking of which, I think Needles drops a few heroin syringes if you kill him, but, you know, we have to kill him first. And that's not going to be easy at this point in the game. I mean, you saw how he took all those bullets in a bear trap and didn't care about them at all. Didn't need a bit more heavy firepower, I think, for him. Oh, yellow vial. Ooh, chest. Ah. Uh. You know, with coins, I always thought it's that you, like, take the coin side that's heads up as the, uh, side that's chosen, but it always seems like, you know, they flip the coin and they slam it down afterward, which is not how I'm used to coin- uh, how I always felt coins sh should have been flipped, but I don't know. Oh. Okay, let's- I see one of those things down there. That thing looks nasty. Did we loot this yet? Shillings. More shillings. Oh. No, I can't go up there. Okay. Ugh. Lying down like a wet turd. Okay, you're fine with hunger right now. It's only when you get weak from hunger that we should worry. Snow lingers near as rancid, to say the least. Yeah, that's what sewers tend to be like. Oh, okay, there's a guy down there. Kind of want to avoid that. I don't want to sprint too much just in case you have to make a quick dash. Oh, that rat lady there. And yeah, I do know from playing earlier that basically just like spawn and summon a bunch of rats. So we kind of want to stay away from them for now. Again, Levi is not exactly the best fighting fighting character in the game. So we just want to be careful with what we fight with him. Especially when we don't have heroin to give him a quick fix when he needs it. Oh. Ugh, that rat thing. Okay, what else we got here? Okay, this place again. Oh, oh good, it just fled from us. Be good. Oh, wait, I think I need to see what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to push this in a way so it can't flee from us, right? Of course, look at me saying we're supposed to be trying to avoid fights. Now I'm trying to go after this thing. Look, I could just have a bell toss a piper and shot this thing, and that should hopefully get it. Reckon seems to awkwardly start a fight with you. You sure that's a tail? That looks more like a, you know, intestines than anything. Okay, you just try and toss a wrench out and stun it. Nice, good, we got a. Oh, jeez, it's biting. I hope we have something to infect for that infection. Great, we got two infections. I mean, there's another way of getting rid of an infection, but you know, involves kind of chopping off the infected limb, which is not what I advise in usual situation. 
Oh, it's singing an egg on it. That's good to know. Okay, good. We have enough herbs for everybody. Let's use them all up. Hopefully, we've got some more somewhere. And find some more some more medicine somewhere. You know, probably should have known that a rat thing would try and bite us, but ooh. Yeah, let's try and get back to the entrance where we were, where we came in from. It was past this thing, though. Then have to juke it a bit. That way, I'm getting lost now. Shoot. Hmm. How did we get down here anyway? And okay, it wasn't this way. And I don't want to go back up into the central city because that's where the cop was. Bobby, to be specific. Oh, let's move on. And of course, there's nothing there. So that thing was guarding nothing, it looks like. Oh, wait, down here, of course. Okay, there we go. Alright, we came up here from the West Junction. Yeah, because I remember we saw that rat lady there. Yeah, now we know where, let's just keep looking around a bit more. Okay, Tunnel 5. Okay, which tunnel this... Where this is on the map, but I'll... T Still? Nice, they're probably helping us get all these locks open. Yeah, this is why I wanted to come here earlier with... Or that one thing where I, we countered Chowknar, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to go through all this stuff and look around. I mean, yeah, most of the stuff is kind of useless, like the bolts and the pressure plate, but still. Where is this? Ah, okay, this is the filthy shack. I remember it now. You know, I know where when Needles took us when he uh, killed us. Or, you know, made us wish we were dead. Just help this person out. It's clearly they're not in good condition. But you know, I'll still take your head. Yeah, let's loot the barrels here for any other stuff. We can find some bolts in one of these for the pistol gun. Is we could really use some more of those. Some golden chanterelles. Yeah, just check it on hunger quickly. Oh, right, this is where the gunman is. Game off, Abella. Nice. Okay, now we can go for the torso without worrying about him shooting at us. 
mean, the tackle's definitely better than getting shot. So we'll take this. There we go. I thought this bullet gun is a lot easier. Found gunpowders. Okay. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I think the... Oh, right. I think if we actually kill him without destroying the gun, we get a few bullets because, like, the... It's like the game says that the gun got destroyed in the fight because it was in bad condition beforehand. Oh. Yeah, I thought this the game would say you want to use a small key to open this, but... Okay, yeah, I guess it needs a specific key to get through there. So yeah, that's basically what happens if you try and open, force the door open and get into a fight with it. And if you can't kill in a single turn, the game just basically says it's too strong for you to open. Ooh, blue herb, nice. I always want more of those because they're always lone healing items. Yeah, definitely a fun game so far. I mean, definitely dark and tough, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, Levi's still good with hunger. And that bell's got a very noticeable percentage for some reason, but... I think we're good with that. Oh, again, just gotta watch out for those... Actually, what's that thing over there? The elevator door seems to be stuck from this side. Okay. And yes, we could attack and kill the villagers to get their heads, but I don't want to do that right now, at least. Although there are some which just want to try and kill us. You know, like that one just wandering around down there. Now we can at least look around and grab some stuff. What are you thinking, buddy? Heading back to the left? Right. Good. Yeah, and those guys have like a bite and, and scratches, which can give you infected injuries, so definitely want to avoid them. Hey, but a nice collection. A dark corner of the unwanted and the undesired, where they dumped the disease stillborn and now the moon scorched. Welcome, old fresh one. Welcome to Ship Pit of Privil. A uh, nice decoration you have here. When they're washing out of you dead, I want more, though. I want the one who swiped half the old town down. The woodsman. And I want the one who condemned us down here. I want the filthy priest. I'll see what I can do. Show no remorse. Let their blood flow. But yeah, basically this guy just wants to kill and get the heads of these two of these two mini boss guys. We've already seen the woodsman, and then the priest is in a place I wouldn't mean to go check out in a bit. Ooh, some bullets, nice. Another tails, dang it. I'm not sure to get to the lower part of the old town from here. Oh. Yeah, I want to kind of leave that guy... Give that guy some distance because I do not want to get an infected wound right now. And how about mushroom stew? There we go. I don't know specifically what would give the best restoration, like, you know, not waste anything, but... But, you know, she should be good for now. Alright, can I get something from here? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's just keep looking around a bit and see what we can find. Alright, this is like the projector room. If we had a projector, we could use it, but... Oh, nice! Gas mask. I won't give it to Levi, because again, as the main character, if he dies, everyone dies. And right, this is the place where we chained up earlier and had that ghost attack us. 
well, I think was a ghost. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was just like needles, but you know. And the weird, creepy red outline of the man that did stuff to us. You know, just had a little bit of extra trauma to the piles and piles that Levi already has. But guys lived a fucked up life. Nope. You're just getting a hold of us. Yeah, our mind is actually finally lowering from walking around all these dark places. I think we have a few beers we can use if need be. Yeah. Well, one actually. Oh, and some lavender. That helps out as well. But we're good for now. We're not going to use any beer for now. Yeah, no, I was just saying. Oh, we're still, still 50. I thought the game was saying that because Bella was hit, hit, hit 50. Yeah, if I remember correctly, hitting zero means that you get panophobia, which means that you're basically got a debuff to a lot of different enemies as opposed to a few of them. I think, again, I don't know the phobia system that well, but... Okay, that's just like a room closet. Ink bucket? Not really useful to us, obviously. What else we got down here? Yeah, as dark as these tunnels are, it's surprisingly enemy free. Well, except for the killer clown, but you know. Okay, just items for tunnel maintenance. Nothing useful for us, sadly. And okay, more cloth fragments are good for bleeding. Well, still, infected wounds are going to be an issue since we don't have any of those things to heal up. Okay, it looks like needles left here at least, so that's good. We can go looking in here now. Empty lockers. Stuck lockers. Money. Money. I personally prefer bullets at this point, but... I need some draw stuck, I guess. And did I check these lockers? Yeah, I think I did, because the, the chest is empty as well. Yeah, I think we've gotten everything down here. And Needles isn't here anymore, but so we're safe in that regard. I mean, a little too late for Mr. Tanaka, but... But still. Oh. Uh, hey, ma'am. Look a little... Ma'am? Uh... That's interesting. Yeah, we did see her earlier, but we were kind of distracted by, you know, big elephant head attacking us. Oh, a dead body in relatively fresh state of decomposition. Not much physical trauma. Maybe a heart attack or something. A letter and a key. Soldier's letter and an eagle brass key. Let's look at the letter. Seems like you never got to send it, it says. Dear Gaselia, I write this letter in great sadness. I'm afraid I'll have to postpone my return to your loving bosom. Even if the great war is supposedly over, our tasks seem to be anything but. With running around falling orders that would sicken every sane person who would not wish this war of war, I think I'm sorry to say seeing the red line our Kaiser been following all along. This rotten city is the very thing our Kaiser strived to conquer since day one. I do not think a coincidence soon not to reach the city the Kaiser decided to withdraw Roman forces of and agree in the terms of peace. I don't know what's so special about this miserable place, but I even heard of the Kaiser himself be coming here in the upcoming days. Maybe after that, I can finally return home. I hope you're able to wait for me for just a little while longer. Yours forever, Johnny. Oh, and it's butterflies here. Looks like some kind of information cables, it says. Let's see. Read the instruction document. Next amount of simple writing format. The telectroscope can't be connected logic unless all three of the cables are switched on. Connect one for another does not cause any damage to the system. It should not be done without clear orders from the designated official charge operation. Please refer to the manual. Uh, let's turn this thing on. And I will use the, that rare portal again, but I want to look around a bit more first. What's that noise? Is that like a... 
don't think running. Ooh, a broomstick. I'm guessing that's a melee weapon or something. Let me look. Okay, simple one broomstick. Not sturdy enough to use as a weapon. Oh, but a bell can open this place up. I see a chest in there. Lantern. Makeshift armor, interesting. Let's take a look at that. Rest plays old stone live. Desperate times breed creativity. Okay, so it's very defensive, but it gives us like zero agility. Okay. Let's not use that, because as you can see, Levi has this agility of seven because of his addiction right now. Ooh, bullets, hell yeah. Shotgun bullets though, but so we can't really use them right now, but still. We'll take them. Right now, let's go look at that side room that we were in last time. Skin Bible, Chapter of Gorgoroth. Let's look at this one then. I don't think we've looked at this Bible yet. Destroyer of Men. He ushered us a new dawn with force and violence. The other part of the most primal duality, creation destruction, whereas the other doesn't exist without the other. The word destruction is often associated with the evil of the world. This, of course, is foolishness. There's no room for new creation if the slave's not first burnt, clean, and empty. Man fears destruction. Man gets accustomed to peace and quiet. Man grows fat and afraid of change. Change is inevitable, just as Bogoroth. But one needs to understand that destruction is a pure kind. It does not target one man specifically, it just exists. Bogoroth is associated the god of creation, Sylvan, or child, the god of nature, Venushka. Obviously, man kind of blessing of blood magic. Haunts and sacrifices name will maintain a relationship. Mark raises our strength, and also, yeah, the game's just letting us know that we're getting scared from being down here. Let's, uh... Off a little bit of lavender for now, just to hide us over while we get out of here. But yeah, again, I'm not gonna mess around with these things in, that are on the ground. Because, again, we don't have any heroin for healing, and... Oh, oh you thought I triggered that one. And plus, are kind of scary with for us at this point in our le the game. I mean, even with all the gear we've been picking up, I still don't want to fight them. Let's just try and get out of here. And just taking it slow so nothing, you know, pop out and attack us. I think they're called Ron Teals, I think their name is. And right, this is the uh, gate out of here. We have that one skill. Which we don't yet. They take a left here. Or right. Whichever way you know. Oh, nothing over here, so let's get out of here. Well, we're finally back outside. Hmm. You know, I thought we'd be seeing a little cutscene here with a certain someone that we haven't met but heard about, but I guess that didn't, didn't take for some reason. Oh. Okay, I think we can deal with this, so. We can have her throw the pipe wrench. Levi has. Yeah, we have plenty of rotten meat to give it to it, so we'll be stunned for then. Actually, okay, yeah, she can't talk. He has to talk. Oh, right. Also, since we hit low enough, uh, mind, we actually have this skill, which does exactly what you expect. Okay, go for stun. More simple one shot. That works, too. The creature's nothing worth, and obviously it has no head, so there's no real point in fighting other than just getting it out of the way. There we go. He still has the hunger debuff, though, for some reason. Anything up here? Oh, uh. Ooh. Awakened from my slumber. Is it time yet? Time for what? What nuisance. I wait for Venushka. 
Do not wake me again, worm. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just leave this guy behind where he is. I'm not sure what his deal is, but... You can just hang out there. I'll, I'll let you be. Hey, wasn't there a second dog down here that I want to get rid of? Just, you know, so I don't get jumped by by mistake. You know, when I'm just walking along and... And I will talk to it just in case so I can give it some extra meat. Oh, she doesn't have the wrench equipped. Whoops. Yeah, I forgot it equips it every time you do that. Ah, oh, crap. And that cost me a party member. Ugh. Ah! Yeah, we can't even get her equipment now that she's dead, which sucks as well. Great. Do we have anything for that poison? Okay, white file, I guess, sure. Yeah, great. We've made very little pro we lost the one party member we got because of my stupid mistake. Right. Mm. Okay, so let's at least try and get the second. So we got one key that we we're supposed to get from the, uh, what was it, the... I mean, yeah, they're carving the eagle and a tart carving the line. One, we got one of the keys and we we're supposed to get the second one, but... And unfortunately, we kind of lost the party member we had, which would have helped us out a good bit. As I made a stupid mistake with forgetting how to re-equip the, uh... Wrench. Alright, how many heads do we have? I feel like we got a good bit at this point. I think we got fourth on which I think is enough for Moonstone. Or Soulstone, right. Ain't ain't one yeah, I kinda fucked up a few minutes ago. Got to give back the wrench they were carrying, and now my friend is dead. Yeah, not sure how the thing bites him without a head, but probably too left, too late to wonder about that now. Oh well. Yeah, let's get out of here again, because again, being down here is making us stressed out. And goodbye. Mirror's Manor. Interesting. Yeah, I think lighting candles helps increase your sanity a bit. I think, if I remember correctly. Last shards in the floor. Nice. Multi bread. Ooh, a few small coins. Nice. Yeah, so these big faces. Nice. Peppers and shells got nice and decorated tableware. It's yeah, awfully nice for you know this sort of place. Ooh, more glass shards. Hmm. I don't like the vibe of that guy. Yeah, didn't that guy say there was a, like a priest he wanted killed? He did, didn't he? Get over here, preacher. Ooh, nice. No, snapped off both his legs in just a single hit. Eerie silence precedes a dark priest before you. Man, we just hit start off and now he, Father Oscar's already lost his, his legs. Oh, he actually has a name. I didn't. It just called him Decrepit Priest. But yeah, he has a magic thing that he does if he 
take like two turns to hit him, and he can also have a coin flip attack where if you feel like you're crucified. And now he got his head, nice. What do we got here? Old newspapers, rotten meat. Maybe we're collecting dust. Some small coins, nice. What's down here? Hmm. On chanterelle, and bread, meda, moldy bread. Oop, a key. And some leather armor, nice. Nice to me to get someone else and hopefully they won't die. Okay, yeah, it just looks like this the part of the mirror that got blocked off. Hmm. And yeah, crew fixed all mirror. And their expression is that of vengeance and rage. Yeah, this isn't your dad's Jesus. This is the murderous kind. Ooh, the Book of Fears. Yeah, I think this is just basically uh, tells you what the uh, fears each character can have are. See, nothing too exciting. But yeah, it looks now we've got the mana cube can actually look around a decent bit. And the books. Ooh, skin Bible for rare. And someone finally vomited their guts out and missed a tray. That's at least what it looks like. And I'll take a look at that book in a sec, especially since rare kind of is, pl plays a big role in this game. Let's see. Very much like the sun, the moon is one of the primordial entities and, and thus has Lord beliefs for an ever since the dawn of time. It makes it difficult to separate facts from fiction and mad ramblings from hidden truths. Consistent details among a myriad of stories seem to hint of a god called Rare, also known as the Trickster God and the Moon God. In the most ancient writings, Rare is depicted as God named Satan knows to succumb to the madness. His blessing to men is his moonlight, which is said to uncover the truth under the human filth. The truth that is often too much for a human mind to handle. It can be debated whether his version of the truth is more accurate than that of the human filth. Like many older gods, Rare's part in the greater scheme of things remains a mystery. Just looking at the night sky, you can see his presence in an internal slumber. It makes the secrecy even more infuriating. He's literally hiding in plain sight. And yeah, his, his symbol gives us more max mind capacity. Which again is basically a mix of magic and sanity. It's being witch arts getting pretty low again. Eating supplies, bucket. Ooh, more library, nice. The what? The book about the ancient city Mafre. We'll take a look at that later when we're out of this place. Ooh, Last Frontier, that book about Finland. Book of Jesus. Truth under the Moonlight. New Poems of Love and Torment. Well, coming to Volume 3, I think that's a crafting book. It contains recipes for the light blue vial and the brown vial. And yeah, now we can make some new items. We can make, make blue. Oh, we can make upgrade blue vials and brown vials, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, I guess the, uh, it's like a concentrated version of blue vial, which would help out, but. We use them all up now, I think. Okay, what's with the heartbeat noise? Do we have, I don't see any enemies here yet. Is that because of our mind? I mean, it's been lower, so I don't know. I have oil, egg. This must be the food storage of the old town. Yeah, it's odd because there's supposed to be like two things events that are supposed to happen here based on 
you've done, but I haven't seen either of them. I'm not going to spoil it too much again for those who haven't played the games, but we are supposed to find someone else here, but I haven't seen anyone here. Hmm. Maybe it's because I went into the old town already? That could be the case. Oh, wait, I can't go back here. Shoot. Uh-oh. And of course he starts off combat with a bear trap before he can even do anything. And it's infected my arm already. And bleeding as well. Can't kill me, but a punch will. Well, that was a good first section of Termina, folks. You've been killed multiple times and made little progress in actually getting anything past the uh, intro. But it's 4.50, so I think we're going to call it off here. Again, folks, th folks, thanks a big lot for the first stream. We've had managed to make $10 so far, which is pretty good. I'm going to see who's around to send you off to. Let's see. And, you know, I may or may not debate on whether or not we want to try a different, easier character, but... I don't know. I feel like we should stick with what we've done. Let's see. Who's doing what? Alright, let me see who's, who's streaming on my teams right now. Hmm. But yeah, like I said, again, we're gonna be streaming on a... On Thursday this week, because I'm gonna be busy on Wednesday and Friday. It's probably gonna be uh, the Buddy Graveyard, since that game's uh, another horror game I want to try, and, you know, rabbits and all that. But let's see who's streaming right now. Nice factory, inscription... Okay, I think I'm probably gonna send you off to someone who's also playing a bit of war with F Foxes. They're playing Inscription right now, so I'll leave you off with them. A little less terrifying, but still pretty grim. But yeah, I'll be seeing you folks on fr on Wednesday, on Thursday for the Bunny Graveyard. Hope you have a good rest of the day and hope you have fun. And take care, folks. Have a good day.